That was their like white whale. Are they really white right? whale? Yes, get John Ham on. We got their coffee. Ooh, it's not mine. Don't show that on camera. <laughs> Did you know those like fraps? Those like Starbucks frappuccinos. <gasps> I don't know if it's supposed to be like that, but you're supposed to freeze them, and then you like shake it. Yeah, because they're supposed to be like a slushy. Because it's this frappuccino. Those ones it's that you like. Supposed to be like blended store. ice. Yeah, yeah. I didn't when they know that. when they freeze, they freeze like that. The ones that are in the glass cans. Yeah, yeah. You're supposed to put them in the freezer, and then they come a out glass like a frappuccino. Can? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, you know what I meant. It's like a bottle, but like, it's like a glass can. <laughs> it's a glass can. Yeah. You know. It's like a can, but it's glass. Aaron, welcome to the podcast. Thanks, man. I appreciate welcome it. Welcome, Brain Leak. Will that yeah. be the cold open? We love a cold open. I spill my water. <laughs> <laughs> now I have half. No, I don't. I have less. Do they call it a cold open because there's no warm up? Yeah. So. You just go in cold. Okay. That's cool. Do they call it a warm up because you don't go in cold? But I mean, like, it's the warm up. So, like, technically, you would be warm during the process of it. Or maybe you're. I think it's that you go in cold, and by the time the cold open is done, you're warm. Okay. Oh. Like they don't call it a warm, o- warm open. If they should just... call it the ice bath intro. Yeah. S- Spencer, what are your thoughts on it? <laughs> I hope the mic picks that up. <laughs> uh, welcome back to Brain Leak. Hello. We have our very first guest. What, Mr. really? Aaron Hansen. Is that true? You're yeah. our very first guest. Very first guest. Wow. You guys. Second was... in-person episode. This ah. was, you were the only... Uh, <laughs> one who said yes. <laughs> no, you were, the, you were the only one that, not that came to mind, you were the only one that we wanted to have for the first person on the podcast. Wow. Because we were like, Aaron is the perfect first guest. Yeah. Well, I guess technically Spencer is too. Well... <laughs> he shuts his <laughs> mouth every time. So He's like, no, no, he no does comment. not care. I didn't sign anything. That's a He's good. Like, throw the fucking ball, bitch. <laughs> okay, here, here we go. For those of you who are uh, only listening, there is a visual version of this podcast. <laughs> We're outside today because it's a very nice day out. Yeah, pretty... yeah California. Um, Thank you, sunshine. We were kind of just like, fucking whatever. We'll do it outside. We so were like, outside. we have no standards. Yeah. I mean, this is pretty cool, honestly. Like, I think this is high standards. How many podcasts you been on? Uh, God, I don't know. I used to do a lot of podcasts when I was in cartoons, mm. and they were always God. like, you know, like really niche, like only a couple listeners. So I used to just like fuck with them, and I would just like start asking them weird questions and shit. <laughs> so, like, what? What's your weirdest question? No, I, you know, I would just like they would say something dumb or something, and then I would just like run with that. You mm. know, they, they'd be like, "Oh, I'd try to make a joke," and I'm like, "What do you mean by that?" And like, like, <laughs> kind of just, just really put them on the spot. Um, <laughs> they're like, "Oh, we're bad at this." <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Um, so I don't know. I just haven't. I, I don't. I don't get podcasts. It doesn't. It, it never computed with me. Like I always just watch the YouTube video. Mm. Like there's. YouTube just introduced a new tab, the podcast, the podcast tab. tab. Oh, we know all about the podcast tab. Yeah, I, n- pros. I only just learned that today, and I was scrolling down it, and there was like so many shows where I was like, "Oh, I guess that is a podcast." Yeah, I do never... you have to put it in the podcast category, or does it just assume that something at whatever length is a podcast? I, I think it just goes algorithmically because some of our stuff was in there, and we don't. That's yeah, because otherwise, I do like hours of gaming. Yeah, yeah. that's. Technically, playing Death Stranding is a podcast because there's nothing else to fucking do in that game. <laughs> Ironically, the uh, I don't know if it's ironic. Um, the first Game Grumps thing I saw on the podcast tab was like a fan compilation, <laughs> and I was like, "Wait a second, <laughs> this isn't podcast." That's not no. me. You guys did a podcast thing a while ago, didn't you? The G Club. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we did that. I that was a long time ago. Yeah, that, that was, was a very long time. That was ago. pre-pandemic, which was like fucking twenty years ago. Yeah, <laughs> that was like twenty sixteen or something, twenty seventeen. Yeah, that was. Uh, yeah, yeah, we did our best. <laughs> I thought Don't it was we all? It's all we're doing right now is our best. It's just uh, it's it was not very good. <laughs> yeah, it was it was tough back then too because I don't think there was a lot of that like extended cast stuff going around on YouTube, mm-hmm. and I think that kind of stuff only worked for specific groups and for mm-hmm. us it was like most people tuned in for me and Dan so like when we had the extended cast on people would just be like I'm not just, I'm not gonna watch that it's not Aaron yeah. and Dan so it was like only the one or two Aaron and Dan episodes of mm-hmm. the G Club did like 
pretty well, and then all the other ones just kind of fell flat. I feel like that's what Smosh ran into. <laughs> Who are back? Yeah, they're back, that's back crazy. together. That's t- today they announced it, right? Yeah. yeah, today, yeah. That's nuts. Congratulations that's, on that. That's uh, that's nature healing. I wonder if that's like, I wonder if that was the goal. You know, because I so, leave and then come back. Well, because Rhett and Link, I mean, I could just ask them, but like Rhett and Link, they've been buying channels, right? But they're not like fully buying channels. They're only like buying parts of it so that they can like help with the back end and like grow them. Mm. So I don't know if that was like the plan all along where it's like, okay, we're going to help Smosh and like produce it and turn it into this thing so that we can give it back to you. Maybe. I don't really know how any of that stuff works, if I'm honest. Me neither. Or like, I guess with their old company, like their old parent company, Defy? Defy? Oh, oh. Um, legends. Legends in the space. I haven't heard that name in years. Oh, like, yeah. I, I don't understand why that has to happen. Is it just... Money? Because they have so many people? Money? I guess so, yeah. Money. Yeah. yeah. Money. That makes sense. I mean, that was part of the extended cast problem was that we had all these people on payroll, and it was like, okay, well, we got to pay everyone. Yeah. <laughs> it's getting kind of expensive. Is Ross going to finish all the Steam games? <laughs> He did buy too many. So <laughs> when will Ross finish the Steam games? Yeah, I don't know. He's when will, play when them all. will you guys flip a table again? I feel like that's our. That's one of our like Smosh sitting down on a thing together, and it's like they're back. Like that's like <laughs> yeah. Ross going and being like, I gotta finish them all, and it's like, oh shit, here we go. <laughs> oh, but I mean, there's so many now. And, like, I don't know if he still does that. That was, like, the era where everything was on sale all the time in Steam. Yeah, Steam sales aren't really as big a thing anymore. Yeah, it used to be, like, games that everybody loved, and it was just like, it's a dollar today. I don't know why. It's just a dollar, and it's like, okay. Yeah, it seemed like there was way more sales back then. It was, like, every month there was, like, it's Valentine's Day sale. It's Easter sale. It's summer sale. It's Christmas sale. Yeah, we, we like, just hit the end tail of that with Dream Daddy, where we were, like, constantly getting hit up with, like, we're doing another sale. We're doing another sale. You want to do 30% off? You want to do 40% off? You want to do 20% off? And we're like, okay, okay, fine. Whatever. No, I like money. (laughs) (laughs) Well, no, they were great. Like, you know, because it just gets grouped... It's like, okay, here's your game amongst a list of 100 billion games, or here's your game on sale amongst a list of, like, 20 games. And you're yeah. like, oh, shit. You know, it's just Plus, more of a visibility. It's all, like, the fence sitters who are like, oh, I don't know if I want to play it. Maybe I'll pirate it. And then it's like, oh, it's 30% off. Yeah, I'll buy that. Yeah. Don't pirate Dream Daddy, though. That's not a, that's a terrible idea. Or home You shouldn't pirate anything. Yeah. It's yeah. illegal. Yeah. You wouldn't steal a car. <laughs> you wouldn't download a baby. Yeah, I would. I'd download a baby. Yeah, yeah. I like how they say that. Like, you wouldn't steal a car. It's like, if it was as easy as pirating stuff, <laughs> I would absolutely be I'd stealing, be stealing cars. cars left and right, baby. Yeah, that's so fucking easy. I'd be downloading a car. <laughs> if all I had to do was download a car, and then every now and then there might be some dick pics in it. <laughs> or like a virus. <laughs> Whatever. Fucking... Like there's a virus in the boot of the car. It's yeah, like that's, that's a feature, not a bug. <laughs> I want a car with exclusively dip, dick pics in it. <laughs> <laughs> you would. Yeah. You slap the hood. This baby can fit so many dick pics yeah. in it. <laughs> I'm surprised fucking smelly Elon hasn't put like a fucking fleshlight in a car or something. So it's like oh, Tesla will give you roadhead or whatever. Exhaust. It's like shut up. <laughs> Tesla roadhead. He does have the. He does have. Have you uh, encountered the fuck feature? No. Oh, the like the the, the fire the fireplace with the, with the jazz. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. We we have turned that on. You can set it once. to like fuck mode. Yeah, mm-hmm. it because it, cause it's got a giant screen, mm-hmm. and uh, there's there's it'll do like a fireplace and it'll play like smooth jazz. Yeah, dude, you can make sweet love down by the fire. Yeah, which uh-huh. is funny because you're on the highway. <laughs> my wife hates smooth jazz, so it's, it's <laughs> can like, you it, customize it goes the music? On and it's like, I don't, I don't know. Lo-fi I don't think girl. So. Yeah, right. <laughs> Lo-fi beats to fuck. No, it would be like it would be like Tool or something, you know. Like, oh, dude, you must have been out of your road head. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh. I, yeah, there's also the fart ability, which the is so thing. fucking dumb. And then I think they changed it, uh, but you could you used to be able to make your horn whatever you wanted. What? Because there's exterior speakers. Uh, so you can make your horn whatever you wanted, and you could make engine that's, noise if you wanted. That's so dangerous. You know yeah. what that is? That's a middle schooler who got way too much money. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's like, what if I could make a car? It's like Homer Simpson I making make a car. I make it fart. <laughs> <laughs> and I play Minecraft on it, and it would be so cool. That's so I'll be dumb. mining diamonds while I'm on the fucking traffic. There are games in there. 
They got Stardew Valley in there. Yeah. Do mm-hmm. they? Cool. Yeah. You I can't imagine how Daddy awful it is to play Tesla. Stardew Valley in a Tesla. I don't want to hang out in my car. I want to <laughs> use it to get somewhere and then be in the place that I went to. Well, it sounds like you don't drive a Tesla. This is fucking stupid. But when you're charging, what are you going to do? I'm going to go into the store that it's in front of or something. I'm going to walk around. I'm what about the time stri- we charged in Palm Springs and it was a fucking hellhole with nothing to do? We were in and in, in out or something. Actually, we went to a very nice little cafe. Yeah, right? We, we had fun dinner. See? Food, lunch. See? I don't remember. You forget a lot of things. I do forget a lot of things. We I'm Sean. It. I think we parked outside of an in and out oh. We did an in and out but then on the way back, and you were like, oh man, this place looks like Florida. And it was like the giant statue of like Marilyn Monroe or something. You could like oh, peek yeah. under her dress. Yeah. That weird town. Yeah, like a little nuclear desert. family town. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I actually don't remember this now. I remember and we, we went to that we went like to that brunch should. place. Yeah. And they all of the all of the glasses were different and all the chairs were different. Yeah. It was nice, it was small, it was cozy. Mm-hmm. I'm Sean. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. I do remember that. And there was the big Mary. I remember Monroe, you're John. And I can't. <laughs> I can't place this. Why can't I place this? Yeah, we're all, I you know, about that. when life comes at you fast and you stay busy, oh, you forget so... to smell the roses. Fuck! God, I wish I was athletic. Uh, Sean, what's your problem? I don't know. It's this stupid body of mine that doesn't have the nutrients and vitamins that it needs. Well, <laughs> I've got a solution for you. And it's called... AG1 by Whoa. Athletic Greens. That's what AG stands for? Yeah, Athletic Greens one. <laughs> Sean, Athletic Greens and AG1 make it easy for you to get all the vitamins and minerals and nutrients that you need in your day. But wait, I'd have to spend all day eating so many fruits and vegetables and foods and oh, I'd be so full. You're stupid for thinking that. Because Athletic Greens gives you everything that you need in one scoop. You put it in water, you mix it up, you drink it, and that's it. Everything that you need for your whole day, all in one little scoop of delicious powder that you mix with water, and then you drink it, and then you got everything that you need in one day. I got lightheaded. (laughs) What else do we have to say? (laughs) Wow. That's good, because for me, it's hard to keep up with a supplement routine, and it comes with a bunch of different products. Since I've been drinking AG1, I've noticed an overall feeling of health improvement. If you want to take ownership of your health, try AG1 and get a free one-year supply of vitamin D, a five free AG1 travel packs with your first purchase. That's so crazy that you're thinking of that all off the top of your brain. Yeah, I'm actually just watching TikTok. I'm not even reading it. I'm this not worried is, about it. This is crazy. Go to drinkag1.com slash leak, L-E-A-K. Say it back to me. That's drinkag1. Where are you going? <laughs> That's drinkag1.com slash leak. Wow. Go get it. Make your body a, make your, make your body a little healthier. They make it a temple. But it's a temple. <laughs> That's such yeah. How many roses you smelled lately? We're literally they touching grass. Right actually, like two days ago, I was sniffing roses. Yeah. Because my mom had some. Because she's. Were they nice? Yeah, they were white roses. Ooh, I like white roses. Yeah, they're really pretty. They're all like lined up. Red together. roses are kind of like. Eh. Damn, dude. You're going to say that in front of the I'm going to say that on camera. Caught in 4K. This is probably only in 1080p. But they're so deep. The deep red is so like, whoa. Yeah, but it's like you see them everywhere. It's like all because the lady loves milk tray and it's like roses, chocolates. It's always that. (laughs) Get some fucking pink roses. Get white roses. Black roses. What about different? Black roses. What about different flowers? That's just really. What about different flowers? What about, what about, uh, it's flower, uh, starts with a P, kind of sounds like penis. Peonies. What do those look like? Peonies? I don't know. I don't know. Why are you bringing them up? Because there are different Do you just know the name, flower. but you don't know the flower? They're a different flower. Why, do you, like, why do you know peonies, but you don't what know are what the it ones, is? Jocelyn, what are the ones that I like that you're like, that's a shitty flower? Baby's breath. I think they're <laughs> nice. <laughs> There's a flower called baby's breath? Oh, yeah, they're like little tiny white flowers. And baby's I like breath the way must that they stink. Look. I like the way they look. <laughs> what about tulips? What about... What about baby's bottom? Uh, that's different. I like daisies. 
Daisies. Daisies are cool. Daisy, it's just a like nice contrast between the yellow and the white. Daisy is the most flower ass flower. Yeah, there is. Mm. It's just like when you draw a little flower, you draw a fucking daisy. <laughs> or a, or a, a sunflower. Ass flower. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> when you think of a flower, what do you think of? Rose. Yeah, I think of like a sunflower. Rose. Yeah. Huh? It's not a daisy, but it's up there. Have you seen the sunflowers that they like get sunflower seeds from? No. Are they like gigantic? They're the ugliest motherfuckers you've ever seen. Oh. They have like no like little white, you know, the yellow petals that are like, yeah. hello. Like they don't have that. Oh, is it the ones it's, that have like the little tiny spikes around them? It's just a big pod, you know, because there's like the there's like the pod and then the yellow things. The mm, pod is like fucking huge. <laughs> and then there's no little yellow things. It's like the matrix chamber. Yeah. They like make babies. Well, I think it was just like bred to be that way so that mm. it could produce more sunflower seeds. But it's crazy. There's so many different sunflowers. So does that mean I could just go and grab a sunflower and like, <laughs> I don't think so. Like, I mean, I think you probably could, yeah, because I think a lot of flowers are edible, like corn cobs. <laughs> you can eat whatever you want. <laughs> That's true. You can eat the fucking grass if <laughs> I, I think want. You'll to. just discover what it does to your body <laughs> afterwards. Isn't it weird that no matter what you look at, you know what it's like to lick it? Like, look at that tree behind you right now. Don't you know what it's like to lick that tree? Yeah. yeah. You know, we're the only creatures that can do that. With the part Is of our, true? it's a part of our brain that other animals don't have. Manimals, manimals. <laughs> um, it's our ability to like put two and two together like that and make four. Hey, look at my hand. You know what it feels like to lick that hand. I do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if I looked at, if I looked at your ass, I would know what it would. We all what know it what it's like, like to eat ass. <laughs> this is true, guys. It's just the flavor that we're concerned about. Mm -hmm. And we can infer what the flavor is. Eat your homie's ass once in a while. I know what it's like to eat ass because I eat ass. This is so true, Aaron. What's it like? You get money. You eat ass, get money. Hmm. I thought it was fuck bitches get money. No, it's eat ass, get money. Oh, what should I do That's with the, the after? I don't know. What whatever you want. You have money now, and you also ate ass. So first, <laughs> where's that? Enjoy it. Afterglow. Where, where's that know? monopoly game? You ate ass. Get two hundred dollars. Hell yeah! I would love that. There must be a vulgar monopoly you can play. Oh, for fuck's sake! Yeah, there like is. Like leisure suit Larry monopoly. Oh hell yeah! It's like it's called like fuckopoly or something like that. <laughs> and, you know, it's got, it's, made like, it's, it's got like asterisks Monogamy. in it, and it's like not for kids or whatever. Dude, you know? play polyamory with me. <laughs> I'm bored. Of those, <laughs> <laughs> I just thought you were making that, that a, a general I'm statement. Bored. You couldn't contribute to the oh, monopoly no. conversation. <laughs> I'm I'm bored of the adult humor games like Cards Against Humanity. Oh, they suck. After like ten minutes, I'm like, haha, it's a calm you know joke. What pisses me off. It's like playing Jackbox, and it's like. It's so easy to be like, what would a baby do? It's like, oh, fart. It's like, yeah. ah, it's so fucking funny. <laughs> I think, actually, that is it's funny. It's <laughs> <laughs> but I hate the ones where it's like, what would this thing do? And then I come up with something clever that subverts the yes. sentence or something. And then people are like, I don't get it, but burp is funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Penis. that's exactly it. It's it's Cards Against Humanity. I've had this issue for the longest time. I hate Cards Against Humanity. It does not reward creativity. No. It's like thinking, like, it's just being like, okay, how do I formulate this like perfect joke? And then you come in and you're like, bam, that's a good one. And then somebody's just like, big black dick. And you're like, oh, my God, <laughs> of course. Well, it's because you have to rely on the other people's comprehension of a joke, yeah. which is always going to go down in the mm -hmm. shitter. And it's always going to be like... It's always going to end up being inside jokes or whatever, you know? It's always going to be like, Larry smells, or it's like, fucking yeah. Larry, Larry, Larry does smell! Yeah. I don't know if this is actually true, but I think that Jackbox banned the word cum on Quiplash That's recently. Up. That's super fucked At up. least lean so? into what you're good at. The, uh, the, the perfect example of this is before... Uh, the the first two shows that we did for Game Warps Live, um, the new show wasn't ready, and we had bu shows booked, and we really just wanted to get back on the road. So we did two shows where we did Jackbox, and it ended up being really fun. Um, but we did Qu Quiplash, and during one of the rehearsals, um, it was like it was like something that you covet more than anything or something, and mm -hmm. and like one of the answers was was like the love and respect of the the beautiful people in your life that you want to hold mm -hmm. and and then and then the other one was just slurpy gurpin <laughs> <laughs> and, and it was a hundred percent across the board, Slurpy Gurpin. <laughs> and from that point on, it was just like Slurpy Gurpin was just like the insert for like says nobody had anything. Just put in Slurpy yeah, Gurpin. That's like Everybody the, laughs a hundred percent. That's like the John Doe of jokes. Yeah, it was like we don't have another name for this, so Slurpy Gurpin put is Slurpy like, Gurpin in and get the laughs and then be done with to it. To be fair, when you said that, all three of us laughed. It's yeah. fucking hilarious. So Slurpy Gurpin's the, awesome. We're the fucking problem. 
That's like what I name my Dark Souls characters. <laughs> Slurpy Gurpin. Slinky Dinky. <laughs> yeah. That is a fucking Dark Souls ass name. Slurpy like, Gurpin. Oh, dude, what's behind this door? <laughs> it's Slurpy Gurpin! <laughs> ho, 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 ho. You have been invaded by Slurpy Gurpin. <laughs> dude, I would love to be invaded my by Slurpy Gurpin. My Elden character was Cornelius Corn. Oh, if you nice. guys were wondering. I forgot what mine was. All I remember was Macaroni Grill, which is my Bloodborne <laughs> character. <laughs> I <I'm> want... <laughs> Macaroni <laughs> grill. Yes. That's so good. <laughs> yeah, I, I go with Dinkle Bamp. Dinkle, Dinkle Bamp is good. Oh yeah, that's for every one of them, right? Yeah, that's All like my first them. character I make. Oh. And then I end up with like bonk. <laughs> <laughs> I get so lazy when I go in. And <laughs> another guy was called Hug. Because <laughs> I was like, I'm going to go around and kill everyone. You're killed by Hug. <laughs> Bonk is so good. Bonk's a good word. Because then if you play Bonk, you know exactly what weapon I'm going with, which is great club. <laughs> so you go in and you big Bonk. <laughs> I think at one point Evelyn was Bink. So when we played together with Bink and Bonk, we just run around. It's like you've been invaded by Bink and Bonk. That's my that's my favorite thing about your house is that you have the the game room for oh, chill the two gaming. gaming TVs. Yeah, you guys oh, have they're just yeah. two TVs. I'm, st- I'm stealing that, dude. That is genius. What do you mean stealing? Like I invented this yeah, thing. No, I've like never you seen invented anyone else do TVs. that before. It's amazing. It's we, like such a good idea. We have a room in our house where we have like all our consoles and like a PC and stuff, and then we have two TVs because Evelyn and I love playing like. From soft games together, so it's like, why we can't like modern games? You don't play on one TV anymore, yeah. nor should you, because that would be annoying. So we just have two TVs that we just go on the same internet, join up. It's genius, it's fucking genius. thanks, guys. Hold for yeah. plane. Yeah, hold for the plane. Hold for plane. Hold for plane. One guys. of them earlier looked like a World War II bomber that went over. It was so Sometimes weird. they do that. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes they just bomb. <laughs> Just bomb in the area. I mean, historically, yes. Sometimes but they sometimes, do that. Sometimes they have crazy <laughs> military guys over here. Sometimes the sky does that, you know? It's sometimes just like, just sometimes the sky and then it do. <laughs> and then it do do you that. You see lots of chemtrails around here? Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. He told me that you told him what chemtrails were. It was I when we were him? in Palm Springs. You, you I were told explaining you chemtrails, chemtrails were? to him. Oh, and you'd never heard of it. No, because uh, I, you made some joke about chemtrails. And Turn I, the frog I was really like, I don't, know, I don't know what that is. <laughs> and then you told me about chemtrails. Yeah, man, they're Anytime real. Anytime you've had an intrusive thought, chemtrail. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's so true. Anytime you've seen a gay frog, chemtrail. It's like, I want McDonald's right now. Why? The chemtrails. It's because they left it. Yeah, that's the new world order. Yeah, it's like when you walk down Main Street in Disney and you smell like oh. co- cookies or whatever, and you're like, I want cookies. It's like that with chemtrails. Yeah. What's the color? No show green? Go away green. Go away green. <laughs> no show green. <laughs> Let's go away just green. The building just doesn't show up. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the ride? It's go, no show green. Go away green is a specific shade of green that they use that what it just blends in. With yeah, everything? it's like scientifically proven to be like the most ignorable color. Oh. So any any like building side that they didn't build a facade for, they just paint it that color. And you Weird. just like you just completely ignore it. You don't I even... wanna what is put it up on the episode. I want to see what go away green looks like. It's like a it's like a really pale kind of like like these plants. Mm. But like it's a little brighter and it's 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 more it's like that lavender, like the green on the lavender. So if you wanted to like be ignored in public, you would just dress like a Eat fucking khaki green. plant. I think <laughs> I think it only works because it's like amongst vegetation mm. and mm. and it's stationary. So you just you'd, like so completely put it out of your mind. What if you live in New York and you want to hide a building? Uh, go away, gray or brown. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. God damn, that's you're so. Go, go away, trash can. You just you just paint trash bags on the side of your <laughs> building. Trash bags. And no and one will notice. Vomit and yeah. rats. I still can't believe they haven't figured that out yet. They probably have. They just don't want to. They probably saw the cost and they were like, uh, figured out what? They looked at the cost on the wrist and yeah. were like, <laughs> it's, <laughs> oh, it's time for not spending money. <laughs> what have they not figured out? They're like, $1,249. That's a lot of money. $50. <laughs> I have a special secret. What? I have a special friend who teaches me how to cook. What is it? His name is Hello Fresh. 
Hello, Fresh. I've been hearing all that. F- everything about him. I know. His guy, he teached me how to cook. He sent me stuff to my house. And really? it's just the right ingredients that I need to cook up a fucking superstore meal. Are they fresh and delicious? And yeah. Easy and to they follow say, recipes? hello. And then I say, hello. <laughs> What else? Did, Did you, you know, know that HelloFresh offers more than just delicious dinners? It's now even. E- I didn't know that. It's now easier than ever to skip that extra grocery store run by adding snacks. I hate sides, going to the grocery and store. And more to your weekly order. Simply shop HelloFresh market and take your pick from curated selection of over 100 items. I love curated selections of 100 items because I don't have to eat the same thing all the time. You can go to their menu and then select all the things that you want to cook and then you cook it with your with your hands and then you figure out, how, uh, well, I, if, I, if I can do this, I can do anything. I'm trying to explode your head with my mind. <laughs> I wish you would. <laughs> Sean, if I wanted HelloFresh, how could I help? <laughs> you could go to HelloFresh.com slash BrainLeak50 and use the code BrainLeak50 for 50% off plus free shipping. That's HelloFresh.com slash BrainLeak50 for 50% off plus free shipping on your first order. BrainLeak50. I'm five. He's zero. I want to cook more this summer. There's so many things that I could be cooking, but I don't like going to the grocery store, and neither do Thanks. you. And if, if you do, you're lying there. to yourself. So try out HelloFresh. Get wonderful little foods to put in your tummy or, or in your friends if Hello. you have them over. HelloFresh taught me how to cook and saved my life. <laughs> 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 what watch are you wearing? Eight That's a zero zero watch. eight. Oh, this is the Metal Gear Solid Five watch. That's cool. This is what he wears in Metal Gear Solid Five. I thought that said weed on it. No, this is wired. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, pretty cool. I got it for a cosplay, and then um, it ended up like ten times in price because it's like hmm. re- no, they don't make it anymore. Now it's a relic. Yeah, now it's like oh shit, this dude! Is, like, my don't win the wrong neighborhood with that on your wrist. <laughs> yeah. crazy. Wearing all this ice. Yeah, seriously. Like, oh, I wow. wouldn't pay for what it's worth now, but like. I can wear it and be like, "You <laughs> get to watch." Did you like? Cool. Did you like that game? Five? Yeah, I loved it. I mean, it wasn't finished, but I loved what was there. Yeah, the gameplay's so good, but then you go back and play it, and it's like, that's all you have. Yeah, yeah. You're just kind of doing the same thing over and over again. I just like dicking around. You know, that was my favorite thing. It's just yeah, it's the same thing with like Tears of the Kingdom, right? Like right now, I'm playing it and I'm not doing anything I'm supposed to do. I'm yeah. just sticking around. What do you mean supposed to do? Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? Are, you sound like a comment right now. <laughs> <laughs> you're not supposed to do anything except have fun. If you're having fun, then you're playing the you game right. You know what? I'm with you on that, man. I'm so with you on that. And Especially I- a game like that. It's like it's like going outside as a kid to do whatever the fuck you want. That's a digital version of that. Yeah. No, the- there was there was there was a oh, there was a comment that was like oh, I can't believe he's getting rid of cuz I I sold a bunch of the like bright seeds or whatever oh yeah the bright bloom seeds yeah and i haven't gone to the depths yet so i mean i have now obviously but um they were like oh he's gonna he's gonna regret that and everyone's like no don't sell the bright and it's like dude don't you think it's gonna be like hilarious when i don't have any down there like for the sake of the show yeah i i prefer watching stuff like that than like someone being like you have to be really really good at something to make it entertaining like you have to be like speedrunner good for a or yeah, like the guys, just who, the gameplay. The guys who play yeah. like Fortnite, who are like unbelievable at it. It's like yeah. that's fun to watch. But someone who's like playing the game properly, but isn't like incredible at it, mm-hmm. is like, eh. yeah. It's like <laughs> figuring it out and like finding it out and me knowing something and being like, oh, I can't wait to see his reaction. Yeah, no, it's been exclusively building stuff that just doesn't work. Yeah, <laughs> and killing Koroks. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Oh, Crucify I haven't them. done any of that. I've done a lot of that. <laughs> I, 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 they're so cute. I don't want to <laughs> fuck with so them. Fun. I want to do it, but it takes too much time to do it. Yeah. They wanted. They wanted that to happen well, because what's... no other NPC can you bind to a thing. <laughs> well, that's what? what's funny about it is yeah. like when I'm constantly failing at doing the task, I'm like, no, my friend. <laughs> He's just like flying <laughs> off in the distance. I'm like, shit. <laughs> I love how much you can bash them up because there was one where it was like, I had to get him up on the roof over there. So I was like, I'm just going to strap a rocket to you. Yeah. I'm not going to try anything else. It's just a rocket. He kept falling over and like spinning in a circle <laughs> and bashing into shit. And I'm like, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> Very funny stuff. Very funny stuff. Yeah. I like it. I like it. I like it. I don't have any clothes in that game, and I refuse to wear any clothes. Really? I try yeah. to be. I try to wear like as slutty as possible clothes. Mm. Like yeah. Any, I, any midriff shit, I'm like all over that. Gerudo tone. Yeah. I like the barbarian armor, you're where he's got like a, little things. You're just a high rule whore. Oh yeah. 
Dude. I hate that they brought back all the same outfits and didn't change anything about them. Like the snow quill outfit. Oh, yeah. It's like, put some like tassels on it. Like, change it. Like, tighten it up. Make it fluffier. <laughs> Do like the fucking Final Fantasy shit where you like, just add more zips. Yeah. Well, I think they just spent all that time like making the game you know yeah they did say they it's spent, so polished they delayed it a year just to, for QA testing yeah so they spent a year QA testing it I haven't experienced a single bug or like situation where the game didn't do what I yeah I, I saw it's supposed to do there was one where it's like uh, <clears throat> there's like rope bridges of concrete but they're all like flaps and somebody like stuck it to a car and then it went forward yeah. and the thing was like flopping over shit yeah. and like kept taut and everyone was like if you don't know how games work, this is like wizardry. Yeah. Like to be able to do this and not have a break is nuts. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, but white game look bad. <laughs> yeah, but how come when I go to village, it's same people? But why <laughs> Why no ray tracing? That's kind of like when people were upset with seeing uh, God of War Ragnarok and they were like, the animation for Kratos to get into the boat is the same as the last game. They didn't he's, update it. He's it's the like, same guy. He's the same man. Get yet, in the same Yet bunk. From Soft games come out using the same fucking Demon Souls <laughs> animations. Like, no. Thank you. It's like, why would they change the boat animation? He just like gets in and like kicks his feet in the air. <laughs> See, as somebody who came up on Street Fighter and Darkstalkers and and King of Fighters, like I'm like, they changed something amazing. That's incredible. <laughs> yeah. When that's... they gave a character like a new kick, it was like, oh my God. And like all the blogs were like, dude, check this shit out. That's... He kicks different now. There's FromSoft. I've been using the same animations for years. Everyone loves it. Mm. Yakuza is like the same map all the time. And then Diablo is like the same like classes and spells and yeah. shit all the time. And everyone's like, amazing. Yeah. You can dodge now. <laughs> <laughs> Elden Ring adds jump and everyone's like, <laughs> Think of the possibility! That, is, that, that, that breaks the game! So funny. That was the first thing in Elden Ring where I was like, look at this. <laughs> I pressed X and he went in the air. He went up. Oh my this god. This opens up realms of possibilities. It, it does, though. It fucking huh? does. Yeah. Falling down those little things, the platforms. Yeah, but to the thing. all the combat just... <laughs> that just up. that just whacked the shit out of you. I, no, I won't say it. I'm sorry. Miyazaki's up there being like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Um, I'm excited for Armored Core, though. Have you played old Armored Cores? Yeah, I I played, I think it was Armored Core 3 mm. for like two days. And then I was like, I, I don't know if I can get into this. I, Is Armored Core the big robot tank Yeah, it's game? like the mech yeah. game. And you fly around and shit. Okay. It's like one of the, is it one of the original ones? It's old. Mm -hmm. But it's like Zone of the Enders, but that's like fast paced. Yeah, Zone of the Enders is like a beat em up. Armored Core is like very deliberate. It's like a simulator almost. Um, it's very heavy and slow. I, I I think I'd probably be able to get into it now if I played the old one, um, just because I'm a little more patient. I think. Yeah, I I couldn't play any of them. They were way too. It it felt like I was fighting my own fingers to play those games. Mm. But now with the new ones coming out, and I'm like, that looks cool. Maybe I'll be a robot boy. Yeah. I loved that analogy. <laughs> I felt like I was fighting my own fingers. Yeah, that or it's like playing finger twister. That's what Tears of the Kingdom feels like. There's every yeah. button does something. Yeah. And, it, and it's like, I just always impressing the wrong buttons for everything. And I'm like, fuck, I dropped it. Oh, and, no, and no they, I put it away. They changed it from Breath of the Wild as well, where I'm like trying to like take out like my menu. And then suddenly I'm like, why am I putting stuff backwards in time? Is that true? I didn't know that. I think it's like up on the D pad was like changed or something like that. But it's like, it was like so buried in my brain that there's like one button that I always press to do something. Shit. It's like to use the powers. And I'm like, man, I'm a failure. <laughs> When are they going to bump the Minecraft sex update, though? Hmm? It's coming soon. It's Have you heard that soon. Todd Howard uh, AI-generated Skyrim update where he just talks about adding, like, sex to the game? <laughs> There's no video to it, but it's just... It sounds like him at a keynote speech, <laughs> yeah. and it's so accurate. <laughs> it sounds exactly like him. Like, you wouldn't be able to tell that he wasn't saying that. All of those are really terrifying because they're so good. But they're so fucking funny. Yeah, they're so so. Funny. No, the one, the the funniest one is the guy that does the Resident Evil Four ones. That like I haven't seen them. You haven't seen those with with Biden? <laughs> oh wait, yeah. <laughs> I think you should. Where, where Biden's like hiring Leon to yeah. go and rescue his daughter. It's so funny. I think you showed me those. <laughs> yeah, the president ones are the best ones. They're so fucking good. Wake up, Sleepy Joe. <laughs> yeah. It's it's funny until the day when like it's me and then I'm like ah oh, no. yeah I don't like Let's it stop that yeah. don't don't do that please 
it's just it's funny until they do an episode of this where we're not needed and then it's like man it's it w- never gonna be funny though the way ai is built like it's, it sucks it sucks it's a novelty at best yeah it's, it's uh, like it's like the fucking infinite seinfeld episode or whatever I was like just about to ask it's funny that's because it's bad up. what is that still up and running yeah What's it went that? down and then came back I don't know if it's still running, but it, it came back and ran for a while. Yeah, I haven't checked on it in a while. But there's just like little clips where you're like, that's so bad. <laughs> yeah. And then and then it's also funny when it's accidentally good. And it's like yeah, it's never gonna be sincerely good. But it's it's never funny good, it's surprising good. Yeah. Where it's like it starts talking about death and then you're like, excuse well, me? <laughs> but it's never like, God, I laugh so hard at that. Yeah. Like you do when it's us. Yeah. <laughs> or it's the yeah. context. I laugh so hard at that because of that it's an AI and it did this. Yeah. As opposed to it's just good. Fuck AI. All yeah. oh, my homies hate AI. So true, dog. You know, if you if you fucking feel like, <laughs> oh, AI is like too good. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Keep going. You make me laugh. <laughs> if you feel like AI is going to like take over your job, it's it's like it's okay to just like when people make things. I, just mm. just put that out in that in the world. Like we're reaching a point now where we're gonna have to say that. We're gonna have to be like, it's important to me that a person made this thing. Cause it's like the gotcha yeah. that some people are trying to do now is like, like, well, good that was actually AI and you said it was good. And it's like, okay, yeah, because I thought it was made by a person. Now that I know yeah. it's made by a computer, I don't think it's good anymore. It's like sometimes it makes good things, but it's like how it got there and why it got there is the problem. Yeah. Like the it, the context of that stuff is important, and it's like, I think. And sure, it, then it's like, yeah, you tricked me, but now I don't like. It. <laughs> now I've changed my mind because I know a person didn't do that, and yeah. I thought the person who made it was cool. Yeah, and they had a cool like thinker. Mm-hmm. That's the same thing as, uh, like seeing something that you like, like an art piece, and then realizing that the person that made it is a piece of shit, and being like, oh well, I don't like that anymore. Yeah, it's yeah. the same kind of thing where it's like. Now, because I know who made it or what made it, it's like, okay, I cannot like that. Or what about how made it? Mm-hmm. Or when? No, kind of, yeah. Because queer made it. Or in made it. Because that thing about the, oh man, I wish I could fucking remember his name. The guy that inspired Lego. The he, John Lego. He, <laughs> <laughs> John J. Lego. Some Danish man. Ago. No, no, no. He was an artist. Uh, he's like the famous artist that does the like geometrical shapes. And it's all just like primary colors. Oh. Uh, just style or yeah, yeah. But he he his whole thing was that like his it was so clean, mm. like so it was like how he did it was what was amazing about it because yeah. like there were just no brush strokes, right? Yeah. Um, but I mean it's it's the same principle as like going to a museum or something, right? Like you you see something and you're like that's neat, and then you read the thing and it's like oh this was made because he was like trapped in a hole for three years yeah, and then that, he made it out of twigs <clears throat> and you're like that's amazing, the, whoa, the, holy crap! Like it completely changes the context. The of best it. example of it I saw was Van Gogh, which is how you actually pronounce his name, not Van Gogh. Yeah, whatever. It's Van Gogh. Sorry, I date a Dutch woman. <laughs> and she's cool and awesome, and I'm better than you. Um, <laughs> I'm better than her. I, like, okay. I somebody did like the starry night, but they did the like extended. They like broadened it out, and it's like this is what it would have looked like if it was we increased the border by twenty sure, percent. Yeah, that's exactly what it would have looked like. And somebody was like, the whole point of it looking like that is because that was his view from his window in his mental institution that he yeah. stayed at. So it's like a limited view of the world. So it's like you just didn't get it. <laughs> You're a fucking idiot. <laughs> this is what it looked like if he was standing on the roof of the mental institute. <laughs> yeah, he could like, see everything. What if Mona Lisa but big? <laughs> That's what I was about to say. It's like, this is what it would look like if it was bigger. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Sick. Yeah. It's like, it doesn't add anything to oh, it. Oh, a thousand retweets. <laughs> but it, Wake it's up like, and I'm still a loser. It took him like a year to make this thing because yeah. he was so meticulous about like the shadowing and the color. This the is what, This is what Starry Night would have looked it's like if it was light. just a picture of his dick. It's <laughs> crazy. AI is this nuts, is, guys. This <laughs> is the Starry Night, but if the camera was flipped so you saw him <laughs> instead. <laughs> it's just like one of those fucking like 360 <laughs> cam pictures. Yeah, the front facing <laughs> camera accident. <laughs> Where it's like you want to like take a picture of like a leaf on the ground, and then it's like, oh shit, the front facing camera opens to see your face, <laughs> fucking huge nose and shit. Myself reflected in society. <gasps> <gasps> Is that why it's called Black Mirror? Yeah, yeah. Because it's your phone reflecting. Uh-huh. Did you not know that? No, you were just figured that out. 
I, I, for some reason, I thought Black Mirror was like a term used in like sci-fi or something somewhere. No. Yeah, it's like the, it's the phone. It's looking at yourself. Oh, it's a reflection of myself. <laughs> um, the same thing with um, uh, 2001. The obelisk is like the the movie screen. Oh, I knew that oh. one. Yeah. yeah. And then like the seven point sound or well, whatever. What, what monkey do? Monkey beat bone on monolith. I, I'm going to say... I love that movie. 2001 Space Odyssey is like... Uh-oh, here it comes. <laughs> it's way ahead of its time. It looked great. But when he throws the bone in the air, the match could... The match isn't that good. Uh, yeah, I wanted, th- <laughs> I wanted the match could to be cooler. I wanted it to be, like, perfectly matched. I hated that. I, like, agreed so hard on that. Because every time I watch the movie, I'm like... They could have done it better. Like, it's revolutionary at the time, and it's really cool. But I'm like... And I get what they mean, but I'm like... It, Yo, like, he didn't have like fucking a, Adobe little, Premiere, dude. He had fucking he used to cut it himself. Just cut the shot earlier or later when the bone is matched to the. Maybe he did it on purpose. He's Stanley Kubrick. He could do whatever <laughs> he wants. That's, that's what he who does. inspired Lego. Kubrick. <laughs> oh, okay, come on, come on, come on. Summer starts now. <laughs> Was that the ice cold freshness of a brand new liquid death coming straight into my hand and my mouth? That's right, it is. Aren't you sick and tired of going to public outings and all you want to do is just drink a water that's sparkling or flaccid and maybe it has other flavors, but you don't want your friends going, oh, you're not going to have a beer with us? Maybe I just don't want to do that right now. Maybe I just want to hydrate myself a little bit with a delicious beverage that sometimes is a little bit spicy and it doesn't make me boring. Sometimes I drink water and I'm like, I want it to be a little bit more exciting. Look at the packaging. It's so exciting. It says carbonated artesian water. Oh, why is it spicy? Once cracked open, no thirst is safe from liquid death. After ritually dismembering its thirst victims, this brutal can of water used the severed body parts of dead thirst to build itself a flesh suit. I'm not worried about it! I love drinking beverages that are... Big and mighty, just like my will to live. So, why would I want to ever settle for a water that's small? That's where their new packaging comes into play. They've got tall boys, but they've got even taller boys that are 19.2 fluid ounces. That's 568 milliliters. It's made with mountain water. That's pretty fucking cool. I love mountain water. I wouldn't get my water from anywhere else. Mountain water is the source of all life. It's in the can. You can find Liquid Death's healthy beverages on Amazon or at a retailer near you. And Brain League listeners, you're going to get 20% off your first Liquid Death uh, apparel purchase. They don't even just do water. They put it on clothing. They They put so many things on clothes. (laughs) They started putting water into clothes. Liquid Death did this with the power of theirs. If you wanted to get that, you would go to liquiddeath.com slash brain, B-R-A-I-N. You can get a cool shirt. You can get a cool hat. They give. They have other things yeah. that you can get and put it on your body. Liquiddeath.com slash brain. Go there. Exclusions may apply. May. We don't know. I just drink fucking water. It's good. Hey, cheers. Cheers, big ears. <laughs> <coughs> oh, that's good. I one here? time had some marijuana and tried to watch 2001 and I got to like halfway through the first scene with the monkeys and I was like <laughs> I can't do this <laughs> these monkeys are crazy. You, went, Dude, you went straight wait. fucking 2002 on yeah. that I, I really would hope that you got to the ending with the fucking light tunnel <laughs> you would have just <laughs> felt like you were like in space well, I, <laughs> dude when I I, I mean it's I've told this story before but obviously uh, probably a lot of new listeners I did I've, I don't smoke weed at all or do any of that. Mm. Mary Jane. Uh, I did once, and I started with an edible, which was a huge mistake. <laughs> that um, is a very big mistake. And it was a terrible experience, and I was depressed for six months afterwards. It was crazy bad. Anyway, um, a, I, I think part of what was so bad about it was we put on like a conspiracy video oh. and like the opening shot was just like suddenly it's ev- not a conspiracy it's all real <laughs> well it was it was <laughs> the, the, the opening sequence with like the music first of all it was uh, somewhere over the rainbow 
but like a sad version of it. And then <laughs> all of the footage was just like every major disaster ever in the world. <laughs> so it was all just like happening in front of you me. You were seeing all of like, time at once. So that's exactly what was happening. I was like, I was like, it's all a loop. Everything's a loop. Everything's connected. <laughs> time is cyclical. <laughs> Everything's all the same, and every disaster always happens all the time. And <laughs> have you ever seen uh, a time lapse of the history of the universe? I, I think that's no. what it's called. I think so. Uh, it's fucking insane. How did they get a camera all the way back then? I don't know. Is it a GoPro? Yes. <laughs> just set it on every minute. It's just an ad for a GoPro. Um, yeah, they just do like a time lapse of space and just like all of the planets dying and yeah. just like what our universe will look like and then every star dying out and then it's just like, and then there's endless nothingness forever. I don't want that. Yeah, but then it might shrink back in. Mm-hmm. You don't know. You don't know. We're no. all just electricity or something, and electricity doesn't die; it just becomes transferred. See, I I had the same thing where I tried weed once. I tried like vapes, and I was like, I'm not I'm not like getting high; I'm just getting like sleepy. Mm -hmm. And I was like, maybe that is how it affects me. And then I tried like like proper weed at one point, and then we were like, if that ever happens, I'm going to watch a Vine compilation because that's <laughs> so funny. And then it happened, and I remember watching it and going, ha ha. Well, my face was still over here. And then it was like, and I was like, oh, oh. And then my heart, because I have health anxiety. So anytime I like lose control or anything like yeah. that, I like, it's like being drunk, but I'm still aware of it. So it's like my body's like disconnecting from yeah. itself. And then I started like freaking out and I, my heart was beating so hard that I thought it was going to burst. So we went outside and put on my Apple Watch to be like, breathe, like have like a stimulation, to like some, distract <laughs> myself. Like a computer man being like, breathe. <laughs> yeah, and I like, breathe. I, I just like, I like sat in the chair. Oh, your and, eyes, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I like, I looked out at the stars and I was like, okay, just focus on something. And then I saw this a star. This is what Starry Night would look like if I was high. <laughs> I just sat there and I looked at a star and then I saw myself like zoom towards it and stand in front of it. And I was like, uh oh. <laughs> I gotta get back to her. <laughs> and that was like, I was like, okay, weed's not for me. I'm never doing that again. I don't, and everyone's always like, no, the first time's always bad. And I'm like, I don't think my brain this is. This is cool. Awesome. Well, I, don't I guess think the my first brain time will and, always be bad. Yeah, I don't think my brain and weed collaborate yeah, very I, well. I feel that. I saw a very It's funny. not a million view collab. Yeah, I, we should, we should someday do it again. Because I had the terrible experience too, and it never was good. We'll just smoke weed and hold hands. <laughs> Like, here we go. Like the end of Toy Story 3. <laughs> Aaron, where are we going? <laughs> it's like, have you ever, is it 21 or 22 Jump Street where they do that? They get high at the same time, but they have like different trips. I think it's 22. <laughs> yeah. And it's like Jonah Hill's in like hell. And Johnny Tatum's in like, he's like, dude, oh, your trip sucks. <laughs> he's like, mine's awesome. <laughs> I feel like it would be like that. One of us would be terrible. We'll fucking it. see, man. <laughs> just look at each other horrified like <laughs> it's happening <laughs> it's like do you see that guy over there it's like no, no! But, no but what about that guy <laughs> I don't see anyone I saw this great TikTok of this guy uh, it was like what happens when you smoke weed alone and it's just him sitting in a chair and it's closed up and he's like what do you guys think about and then he looks around and there's no one around <laughs> and he's like oh <laughs> <laughs> Oh, couldn't be me. Couldn't be me. I I don't I didn't like it. Yeah. At I least when you're drunk, your brain cells are dying, so you're just not aware of <laughs> shit. Yeah. Well, yeah, that was the weird thing about it was like I could remember all of this. Yeah. And it's like yeah. it's like terrifying that I was there once. Because I, I hate that feeling of like loss of control. Like my body feels weird yeah. and different. So I'm that I'm that person that like you get like a heart palpitation or something like this is it, the big sleep. <laughs> Here we go. This is the one. So I just I don't like it. Wow. I tried weed once. Sorry, boys. And you're then afraid, you're afraid a bunch to die, of times. my friend. I am afraid to die. Yeah. Who's excited? <laughs> to... Dude, I'm stoked. <laughs> I'm fucking ready, <laughs> I can't ready, wait. Dude. dude. I feel like if you're not afraid to die, I don't trust you. Mm. I'm not afraid to be dead. I'm afraid of the process of being. Oh, like the pain? Yeah. Like the I, don't, ow. I don't want pain. I don't want pain. That's the thing. But once I'm dead, it's like I'm, there's probably nothing, so it's fine. See, I, I'm afraid of it because I don't believe in anything. So I'm like, I'm like, I didn't know anything before I was born. I'm not gonna know anything after I'm dead. So parsing that consciousness to nothing is like that. I, hmm. I think it's all just. I think we're all just electricity. I think this is the worst part of existence right now. 
It's like Agreed. Be, being in the meat can. Being, <laughs> being in, on the brain yeah, big podcast. Right now with you guys. <laughs> we have all this. Like, that's like the valley. The, the it's going to go way up after this. The amount of time it took for this perfect miracle of Earth to happen, and we're sitting in Ethan's yard <laughs> fucking making a podcast. <laughs> um, no, this is fun, and I love you guys, and this is great. But also... <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about your electricity. I I just think we're trapped in here, and it, we're all hooked up to like synapses and stuff. Where it's like, ow, pain. And then once we die, it's like all that energy just has to go somewhere, and that's you. So it's like then you're just like amongst all the other energy. Are you saying that we're living uh, like a mecha anime right this now? This is like the shit part. We're like a flesh mm-hmm. mech. Yeah, where you have like fears and shit. But where does the electricity go? The electricity goes woo all over. And does, the like, city, does the city buy it back? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you sell it and you make a profit. Dude, it's great. When you die, you're off the grid. <laughs> no, you're back on the grid, dude. You are the grid. Wait, so what about before born? I don't uh, you rem- can't remember? Yeah, so am I not going to remember afterwards? Well, what, where were you before? That's what you're I'm asking. You're here now. Are you saying that after I die, I'm aware of the electricity and exploring space? I think you just are constantly awesome. Thanks, man. That's what <laughs> I after agree. you die. Uh, so let's get started. <laughs> <laughs> you have a shuffle, right? <laughs> uh, no, I I, um, I was thinking about this when we were talking about uh, the the stuff about I don't even remember dying something like that. Anyway, uh, uh, <laughs> my, <laughs> now it's three of us with ADHD. We were talking the, about this yeah. right now. <laughs> Normally I, it's me and Ethan with ADHD in a podcast. No, there's three of them. Yeah, dude, it's great. It's what a moving what a at great the speed first... of dead electricity. <laughs> no, yeah, I can't wait for the description of this episode where it's like we talk about, and then it's just the fucking Bible, the fucking CVS script. <laughs> um, so the thing that I think about the most that's terrible is <laughs> I don't know why I thought about this, but it was, Logan Paul. Was a reason um, <laughs> is is uh, there's a story of a guy. He was like a sailor, and he was with his crew, and then the boat sunk. And it like capsized and everybody died except for him. He like managed to just be like in a little pocket, like a little air pocket mm. on I under the this. sea. And yeah. so it's like it's this fucking sunken boat, like like a mile under the, the ocean. Yeah. And he's just like down there and it's like there's no way to make it back up to the fucking thing. And it's completely pitch black down there. So he's just like floating on this little piece of wood in this little room in a boat for like days and days. And it's like freezing cold. And miraculously, people went down to dive to see, like, you know, what happened to the boat. And he, like, heard them and saw their little lights and was mm-hmm. like, oh shit. And then, like, went and, like, dove under the, the cold water and then just, like, grabbed one of them. And they were like, what the fuck? And then, like, <laughs> followed him back into his little hovel. And he's like, this is where I've been living, dog. <laughs> Welcome to MTV Cribs. MTV Cribs. <laughs> <laughs> but then they saved them and he's good now. And I think about that constantly. I'm just like, oh my god! Could you imagine? Just that like would fucking... be awful. You have to like... reconcile a lot of shit when yeah. you're in that bubble. That's like trust in God. Like, like yeah, like what do you? You can't call somebody. Do? Yeah, shit and base. I guess. I think about it all the time when I'm doing. Uh, I do the um, the Wim Hof technique, mm. where you have to like hold your breath. And I can hold my breath for a long time now, but like when I'm like getting near the end, I'm like, oh my god, could you imagine if this was just like all the time? That would be so scary. (laughs) Doesn't it make you feel weird? It makes you feel awesome. So you're. Can you explain the pro the process? It's it's like so you you go through a cycle of like breathing in and breathing out cyclically, Mm -hmm. and you're sort of like supposedly you're you're flushing your body with oxygen. So you yeah, just so like try to get all the carbon dioxide out. Yeah, so because normally like, you retain like a little bit of it. So you're full of that, and so you can like last longer when you're holding your breath, right? And then it's just like that whole process of like taking it in and then holding it in, and then doing that cyclically. It just like does something to your body. It like awakens. Some yeah, it's shit. supposed to be like oxygen efficiency. Hmm. Like you, you get a bit better at it because if you just take a deep breath now, your body immediately wants to get rid of the CO two. Yeah, but if you do it a bunch. Then your body's supposed to get a little better at like uh, efficiencing. Yeah, Don't you also hold after you exhale? Yes, as well? it's, it's a it's an exhale hold. Yeah, yeah. Because so you have nothing in if, your lungs. If or you breathe in, your body wants to get rid of the carbon dioxide. But if you breathe it all out, your body doesn't need to get oxygen in as desperately. Yeah. Um, so th- th- there's a bunch of like supposed benefits. Like it's your cold resistance goes up, which is true. Um, you know, like uh, you're you're better at like fat burning and sh- there's all kinds of like 
things like that. But the the you're main really good at Tekken. <laughs> just right out the <laughs> gate, you're just like Jin Kazama. Like you just feel it in your dude. Blood. Eddie Gordo, I'm yeah. fucking lit at him. Though. You just know everybody's ten hit combo. Um, <laughs> But it it just feels great afterwards. Like you, there's just like this moment of like peace that you have. Yeah, it's like, like meditative as yeah, well. Yeah, super calming. Because some like Buddhist meditation is about being aware of your breath, mm. and that whole process is just doing that. So the at the end of it, when you're like fully flushed out, um, it's it's like there's something with like how the blood is moving like super slow in your body, but like your sense is dull, and and like so it kind of feels like you're like underwater for a little bit. Mm. Um, and then, like you can slowly feel it all come back. It's like it's like the high end gets turned down, and then it like gets turned back up slowly. Nothing sub. Yeah, you like you you literally like it's just like silence and peace, and then like suddenly like room tone comes back in, and um, it's just it's great. I love it. Do you I think do that it. that guy who was trapped in the bubble when he pooped, it just floated <laughs> next to him? I think so. Yeah, I think he was just like, well, you know, whatever. <laughs> yeah, he was just sitting with his floaters. But I imagine there wasn't the whole lot. <laughs> you know, it's like he's not eating anything. <laughs> That's true. Uh, yeah, I tried Wim Hof. <laughs> Just down here with my friends. <laughs> you want me to ask him? <laughs> the gang's all here. <laughs> I, I did Wim Hof a little bit, but I think it like fucked with my asthma a little bit. I should try oh, it Oh, really? That's interesting. Yeah, but I just, I didn't stick to it. I just kind of like freaked myself out a little. Yeah. Health oh. anxiety. What can I say? It's it's especially fun with like cold, because you're supposed to pair it with um cold yeah, like a cold exposure. bath or like a cold shower or just like we're, going out in the cold. We're gonna do a cold plunge video. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, as like mm-hmm. para brain. I just, I just got one. We should. You got the same one that Justin got, right? Mm-hmm. But I have the like the the cooly thing. Yeah, the thing that makes it cold. Does Justin just have to put ice in his? I think it's just it just gets cold because it's cold out a lot. Oh. And if you yeah. keep it covered, it's not like the sun isn't hitting it. Oh. Do you like it? I haven't used it yet. I like oh. just got it. Oh. Did you set it up? Uh, yeah, I like it was because it's like it had to go up some flights of stairs and uh, it was like really narrow. Mm. So it was like really difficult to like figure out. Like, and it was only me and another guy. So it was it was tough. It was a whole ordeal. And he kept saying he didn't want to do it for like an hour. And then he was like, well, maybe we could. And, and I was like, shut <laughs> And it was like fucking terrible. And I had like cuts and shit on my hand. And I was like, that sucked. Um, I just imagine that that guy was the delivery guy who's supposed to move it. And he's like, I just don't want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, but the, that's why you're here. You have to help me move the thing. He's like, oh, give me like an hour. I that's would scary. hate to be that guy delivering something. It's like, oh, that's heavy. Thank God I'm here. And then you look at it and it's like, oh, <laughs> so many stairs. He literally had that. that he, like, walking up. he was like, oh, I don't know if it can fit in your door. And I was like, no, no, we're going around. And he was like, what? And then I looked <laughs> over at the staircase and he was just like <laughs> That's like the worst part of that no. job. You know, or like delivering food to somebody and then you realize it's in an apartment complex where the elevator's broken, you have to go up like fifteen flights of stairs. Yeah. And it's like, God. I'm gonna walk up them and then I'm gonna jump off them <laughs> to go back down <laughs> and hope for the best. Yeah, but we got it up there. It's all good now. I love that it's three white dudes talking about Cold plunge. cold plunges, it's like oh, every yeah, podcast yeah. ever. Oh yeah, dude. Well, you gotta take cold showers. Yeah, you gotta do um, Pomodoro technique. What's that? Pomodoro uh, it's, technique. It's a con- concentration technique. You know, you have a little timer that's like you do like twenty minutes of like straight work, and then you like take a little five minute break. You gotta eat lion's mane. No, yeah, I don't do that. And then you also gotta do like what's another like life hack? That, or you gotta do uh, Uberman, the Uberman, Uberman sleep schedule. We only sleep for two hours at a time. Four hour work week. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Well, that's like real. What? That's like a real thing. <laughs> what is? You maximize your time and you only work four hours a week. <laughs> and then you play Yu-Gi-Oh for the rest of it. <laughs> <laughs> only you get I, part of it. <laughs> I place my week in defense mode. <laughs> and then at the end of the week, I'm going back into attack mode. <laughs> Summon pot of greed. <laughs> you fucking Yu-Gi-Oh for the rest of the week. Like, <laughs> Do you want to go out? No, babe. <laughs> Hey, the blue eyes, white dragon. I just summoned my best creature. Babe, Special I just summon. sacrificed three of my best guys to get Slifer in. <laughs> it took so long. <laughs> to it's going to take point. me the rest of the week to read what it says on the card. <laughs> <laughs> 
Because it fucking sucks. I like how we were going to do that when you came to Brighton. I know. And I, then I, I kind of like, regret that we didn't. We bought, like, I bought, like, the obelisk and the slifer deck. Yeah. The Egyptian god ones. And then, because you were like, isn't it, like, really complicated with all the stuff in the cards? And I was like, no, not from what I remember. And then I got them and I was like, oh, man. <laughs> I was like, it really don't. I was like, I don't want to fucking read. I don't want to read the fucking book of Yu Gi Oh yeah. on one card. Yeah, those Final Fantasy cards are just like, when you attack, you draw a card. I don't know. Well, even that starts to get a bit complex when we got some of the other decks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think that's my problem with those games is that I don't mind pre made decks because I'm never going to be a deck builder. Right. I, I don't care about the synergy enough. But then reading them, I'm like, oh, fuck off. <laughs> When I was a kid, I played a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh, but I never played by the rules. It was just, these two monsters are fighting, and mine looks cooler than yours, so I win. <laughs> with, like, other kids? Yeah. Dude, then you weren't playing Yu-Gi-Oh, you were cheating. Yeah, then yeah. you were just playing with paper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and that's what I thought it was. I and played a little bit, but there was some cards where it's like, it puts your life, or it puts your attack to, or your defense to zero. And that's like, doesn't that mean you're dead now because I attack you with like 6,000 <laughs> so if that puts that to zero I just attack your life points Yeah, you and then my lose. friends were always like that's not what that means it just negates the attack and still to this day I don't know what that card does wow I can't remember the name of it it's like a reflection thing or fuck what is it called wombat I mean there w are cards in magic where you just lose the game yeah but I, I'm funny. curious if it's like that I, I did that with a card game when I was a kid, it was called Anime Mayhem. It was the it was the first Dragon Ball card game, mm. um, and it had like and, and that was like the third set. The first two sets before it were like other anime. Oh, was it was like Jump Force, where it had everybody. Yeah, but like it was it was made by Pioneer, mm. so which was like a like a VHS publisher. I was gonna say I had a Pioneer like AV. Anime. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so they they made a bunch of. They brought a bunch of anime to America, and so they had like the licenses for all these like random mm. anime. Um, so every set they like couldn't decide what the rules were, so I never really knew how to play it. So we would just kind of make up the game, and I think that's kind of how you're supposed to play it. <laughs> that's my my least favorite thing about like playing a card game or playing board games is first starting and having somebody read me the rules oh, because yeah. I cannot That's, fucking pay attention. I rely on you and PJ to do that. They've where gotten so much better. You, you oh. like doing that. Yeah. I, at least I feel like you like doing yeah, yeah, it. Yeah, I do. And learning the game. Like when we got the Final Fantasy cards, we sat down and watched a video on it. Mm -hmm. I took in like 15% of that video. <laughs> yeah. I just and I was like, like, okay, yeah, okay, haste, yeah, okay, all right, yeah, I can well, attack you, on the first you, turn, okay. You knew it from magic terms, so yeah. it like helped a lot, but I was just like, I hope that you know what you're doing. <laughs> When I'm you took it him. really quickly, though. Well, you could have gaslit me. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, you're doing great, man. Yeah. I win, though. <laughs> I, I won once, and I was happy about it. And I was like, okay, thank God. At least I understand what's happening. Yeah. It takes me a, a while. When I'm hearing instructions, it's like Charlie Brown's parents. Well, so, yeah, like, in the board game sphere, like, that was a problem for a long time. And then, like, Catan came out, and it was, like, so easy. And everyone was like, maybe we should make all our games like this. Yeah. And so now, like, every game, every new game that comes out and wins some fucking German Spiel Award or whatever, like, they fucking, it's Ooh. like, it takes, like, three seconds to learn. The, der uh, the German Heimerdinger Award. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's because all the board game creators are German. Hmm. Yeah, I, we, I can't remember what we were playing. Me and everyone were, like, looking at board games, and it was like, yeah, all the best ones are German and, like, There's European. a reason for that, and I forgot. There's some, like, historical reason Precision for it. Precision German engineering. Something, something culturally, like, I don't remember what it was. But it's pretty cool. You should look it up. Look it up. We're <laughs> not going to do it for you. We're not your fucking dad. Why are all board games German? And it's like a thumbnail with some guy like... And yeah. It shows like three games and, and it's, it's like German flag. And it's a 48 minute video where he yeah. gives you the history of himself. <laughs> yeah. That's going to be the title the of this podcast won. episode. And <laughs> that face that you just made is going to be the thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> Why are board games German with Aaron German Hansen? flag. Mm -hmm. Why Aaron stink? <laughs> Watch the episode to find out. It's because I don't. Shower. We gotta, we gotta talk about something like ridiculous, so that could be like the title of the episode. Well, like to be like would, he put what in his ass? Yeah, no. What would be the most effective? Like if you, if you could scientifically engineer the most clickable video of all time, what would it be? I met God and he told me the secret. That's, that's pretty good. Pretty one. good. But that's actually. like unbelievable, though. <clears throat> that like that's what clickbait is. But I mean, like. 
I'm not going to click that because I'm like, obviously he didn't meet God. Yeah, I guess because the thumbnail needs to be convincing enough, but that would just look like yeah. fake. It's like, I met God. It's just like Danny DeVito. <laughs> yeah. I met... Like, I, I found... I, f- uh, I think finding something in, like, caves or, like, uh, underground. Yeah. Or, like, I found the secret tablets that were lost. Yeah, it's like, who's the most likable guy ever who's dead? Who, like, everybody wants to oh, know more about... What's Mr... Uh, my Mr. friendly Beast. neighborhood. Mr. Rogers. <laughs> Mr. Rogers. I found Mr. Rogers' secret notebook and you won't believe what it says. Oh, it's it's turning somebody like that really evil yeah. is the secret. Oh, you you never know knew this dark secret about... Mr. Rogers had three secret journals hidden in his house. Yeah. But how do you and make that a, a thumbnail and a title? <laughs> 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 and it's just like Mr. Rogers with X's over his it's just, eyes. No, it's just like it's just like the, whoever's hosting it, like crying, like like my childhood ruined. Yeah. No, the thumbnail. I, I is, found Mr. Rogers. Mr. Secret Rogers notebook. killed my dog. <laughs> the thumbnail is like those Shane Dawson uh, thumbnails where it's like the page is ripped and it's half of their face yeah. and half of it is black and white. That's just oh, the, that's yeah. that's not Shane Dawson. That's just Netflix documentary. That's that how true, yeah. how to make a murderer. Oh yeah. It's also a TikTok trend among artists. Yeah. They'll like rip the pit and then they have to like finish the uh, portrait, yeah, yeah, you know? Yeah. It's a pretty fun one. It's also fun when you see people that like aren't great at it and then they like and then they reveal it and you're like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. This one's going on the fridge <laughs> that we threw out. <laughs> yeah. Oh. What would your video be? Oh, I pulled I'm... the one ring from Magic. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. How many packs did you have? I, on the stream, I opened 288 packs. Holy balls. Yeah. How many? Are, I don't know how magic works. Do they do booster boxes? Yeah. Is it 36, like Pokemon? So, Whatever a card game has done, magic is probably the reason it exists. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. True. They were like the first. Um, so draft booster boxes are 36. This is super interesting for everybody at home. Um, collector <laughs> booster boxes. No, which make is it the, interesting. It's the only one that they come in. Mm-hmm. It's, they're more expensive. Uh, and it's only like rare cards, basically, or mm. foil cards, and the, you only get twelve packs in those boxes. Mm. So I yeah, opened... when I was looking up because I bought boxes for the ring one because I was like, yeah, I like Lord of the Rings. I don't really care about magic. Yeah. I just want like the cool artwork. And when I was looking it up, all the different types of boxes, it felt like I was buying like deluxe editions for a game. It was like this one, you get this, this, and this, but you don't get this, this, and this. <laughs> and I was like, am I fucking buying a battle pass? What's happening? <laughs> Can just a single. Could just a single pack have the one ring? Yeah. Like, if you don't buy a boost, like, if you just buy a pack? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's the... What is it? You think it's, like, split up amongst a bunch of packs? No, no, no. I thought I mean, it was, like, the elite packs or something. I mean, like... Foil packs. Yeah. Could it only exist in one of the booster boxes, or could it exist if you just bought a single pack? You know what I mean? Well, you... That's how you would buy a pack. You would buy it from a booster box that they have on display. Oh, uh, they don't have just single packs? They they do. They were solos to, like, Walmart and shit. That they'll be on like the little mm. rack yeah. or something, but they wouldn't put the ring in there. They might. They haven't said anything like that. Mm. What's They'd... it up to now? Two million. Two million's the bounty on the one ring, which is so insane because, like, literally the screen used the one ring isn't even worth that much. <laughs> like, it's yeah, ridiculous. Even if you found Sauron in real life and found <laughs> his ring, <laughs> I I kept saying that if I found it, I would do a video ripping it on camera. That's fucked. That's and, kind of fucked. But I was like, part of me really wants to do that, but I also don't want to get killed or well, like get death threats. You, well, would, you would get a lot of... I, w- I would ruin my career. That would yeah. be it. <laughs> it's just fucking cardboard. Yeah, but they're so like like feverish about that. Yeah. yeah. A well, $2 million card and you rip it on camera? My whole thing is that it's because it's the only one, you can do anything to it and it never goes down in value. Because yeah. it's not like... You're going to get That's another true. one in better quality. It's like, like the it's Banksy just... thing that like shredded itself. Yeah. You know, it's like, ah, oh, it's three times more valuable. <laughs> How did they did they say anything about the specifics of the card as far as like how to authenticate it? Because I feel like that's going to be a huge issue. Of they, people they're already apart, running into that where people are apart. like making pretty good copies of it. They, but they must have a a thing they put in it that only they know is there. Yeah, uh, it's a bomb. <laughs> I mean, Wizards is pretty they have a pretty cool like social team and stuff. So if somebody like claims that they saw and it's not like on video, they would probably send somebody out to 
authenticated or something. The Guinness World Records. Yeah, because it's. I mean, it's like their their sole marketing push for this fucking set. Yeah, <laughs> it's like I got it, and they come to the house, and it's just like toilet paper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh no, you didn't get it. Yeah, I mean that's that's the other thing too is like. What if there's just some guy who's like, I like magic and just isn't plugged in at all and just yeah. like gets it and he's like, oh, cool, a ring card. And then like 20 years later, it's found in some granny's attic. Yeah. Yep. And then it's worth $400 million. Yeah. And it saves the economy of like Finland. But all Wizards cares about <laughs> is it sold a bunch of packs. And yeah. they, well, they fucking yeah, sold like it. Any, the, any company, they want to get money. Yeah. But that's the, that's the most packs I've ever opened from any set yeah. is that, is that it one. It is pretty genius marketing. Mm -hmm. You're part of the machine. You're the problem. Well, the I'm the solution there. because the I'm, problem. I'm reducing the packs <laughs> that it couldn't be in. Oh, if mm. only they just couldn't print more of them. Look, they they <laughs> said it's, money. it's one in three million, so they're making three million packs. So I've reduced 288 packs from the three million pool. So now it's one in two you're, you're million. Right. You're right. You're right. You're a hero. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> you're an absolute hero. So the the more you wait and it hasn't been pulled, the greater your chances of pulling it. Man, I, I'd love to pull something. I if I pulled it, I think I would feel bad. I wouldn't because I would give it to somebody who like really wants. I'd probably auction it. I'd give sell it the air. shit out of it. I'd auction it for charity. I just want to pay my mortgage. <laughs> 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 I'd be like, cool. I'll send some money to my parents, pay my mortgage, and then just fucking go on a nice vacation with my wife. I would. I would be better than you and give it to charity. <laughs> I would give all the money to charity. Okay, cool. <laughs> and that charity would be Aaron's mortgage. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's a lot of stuff you could do with it. Because if it's like the bounty on it is that, couldn't I just get the card and then be like, no, three million? I like, guess. What would people do? Yeah, wait, who yeah. is who you is buying for it. it? Or who is offering that price of two million? Uh, it's like a European... Uh, reseller named like Dave and Adam or something like that. <laughs> Greg. Yeah. It was it was previously I think it was Cassius who had the one million bounty or, or maybe five hundred thousand. The the football player mm. who, who sells cards now. Oh yeah. Um but yeah it's just it's just some fucking they just it's I mean it's you know it's like a push like I'd never heard of this company before and mm -hmm. now I've heard of them like yeah. if you're just like I'll give two million everyone's like whoa and it's like it's not like promissory estoppel like they're not going to be like oh never mind like like it's yeah. like who cares they're not going to yeah. get arrested for that that's what I mean if I got the card and I was like four million and I'll give it to you yeah like what someone's going to pay that yeah or yeah. or not and like I like, said four million is a lot of fucking money for a fucking piece of cardboard four million or your best offer <laughs> yeah, there's, there's a point where it's like nobody's gonna pay that much that's ridiculous yeah but that's I wanna see what like the ceiling of that is so like get a little frisky with it get a little pushback get a little frisky <laughs> get a little frisky <laughs> four million <laughs> <laughs> what if I jizzed on it if I <laughs> <laughs> what if <laughs> wait good question would it increase or decrease the value of the card Increase for some, massively <laughs> decrease for others. What what's the like what's the Venn diagram of like dudes that would already spend a ton of money on it and also people who would be into your jizz? <laughs> <laughs> really small but like get tiny. on it, game designers. <laughs> I want to figure that out. The fucking David Adam guy or whatever is like a huge Jack Septic guy fan. Yeah. Like, Jack Septic guy jizzed on it! Holy oh, shit! Ten million, ten million! <laughs> I'm not selling it after all. It just that's a fucking Tim Robinson bit where it's like up for auction and in the room they're like putting up their paddles, but I'm still jerking off. <laughs> <laughs> like as I'm jerking off to the car, it keeps going up in value. <laughs> and they're like 10 million. He just just again 12. <laughs> what it's if like it how quick we can get the auction done versus how many times can I jizz? What, in if, what if it was a threat? What if you were like jacking off <laughs> over it, like ready to do it? <laughs> it, was, like, it has to go above two million, or else or I'm gonna jizz all over it. It's people bidding of like, I'll give you a million dollars to not jizz, yeah. on it. and then someone else is like, two million to jizz. Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> hey man, you create you create a, a a need, and then you service the need, right? Yeah. Fuck yeah. That's Supply and demand. I would uh, I'd get the card and make fan cam edits of it <laughs> like, dun, 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 that would be fun <laughs> it'd be so sick play some doja cat music over it oh it has to be k-pop or like blackpink or yeah. something 
That's a great idea. Fuck yeah. I th- somebody had the genius idea of if you pulled it, just rip it in half, and then you can sell it to two people. Because oh. it's, I mean... It's still... It's, it, it's what it is. I hate people. <laughs> I hate that any of this is plausible. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. that, and we're talking about like the cosmic dust or electricity and the energy of the everything. <laughs> and it's like, what if I jizzed on a carriage and put that out into the world for everyone to know? <laughs> if but, I came on this card, would it make it go up or down? If I came on this podcast, would people watch? Yeah. That absolutely. But that's man. like a one shot, man. Like you gotta really <laughs> you gotta put hey, all I your only, money only, down on that. I only got one good shot in me. <laughs> that was a potential name for the podcast. Come on my podcast. <laughs> yeah. We were gonna you call my podcast. That. And Thought then it would be like, You wanna come on my podcast? <laughs> and then like, what's the name of it? Come on my podcast. <laughs> or like, what's the like You wanna come on you, my podcast? Come on my podcast. What did you name your character in Pokemon as a kid to have that like when people were like Hey, stupid! Yeah, or like, it, there's like the perfect names where like fits into sentences really yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 um, it's it's like a pronoun for yourself. So like I, oh. so, you, so you'd be like you'd be like well I or like um I, and then everything would be like um I put that in my sack like you, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um I send out Charizard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah, it, it worked really well. We did that for our first Pokemon playthrough on Game Grumps. I think it was fuck I. So Is that Pokemon Red where everything got fucked? Yeah, everything got fucked? <laughs> where you like lost an episode and then you found it years later. Oh no no, we we never found it. We made a um animation. Yeah. But that was that was green, I think. We were playing green or emerald or whatever the fuck. Emerald is green. That was crazy. Yeah, we did an episode and a half. It's fifteen minutes of just like anima animatic. I can't believe she did it. Her name's Linsbot and who did it. That was Linsbot? Mm-hmm. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. She's still incredible. knocking around. Um, I think that that's smart because then it made the video more popular. Oh yeah, it's like one of the most popular episodes of that playthrough. It's like an episode and a Game Grumps animated all in one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I was like, maybe we should do this all the time. And then you were like, man, that's expensive. Very expensive. It's way too long. <laughs> yeah. Because it was like, yeah, it's like if we just lost a one-off episode, we'd be like, oh, well, I guess it's lost. But it was like episode thirty-five or something, and we were like, ah, oh, jeez. Yeah, you were pretty far in. We can't fucking just like let it go. Because that that's not the same play- playthrough where you like. Like unlearned flamethrower, right? I think it is. Yeah. Oh, what a disastrous series! <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking mess! I didn't know you were such funny. a fan of that series, Sean. I'm a massive fan of Game Grumps. He's a big Game Grumps fan. No, but specifically the Pokemon Emerald. Well, those Pokemon were like the compilation bits that like went <laughs> everywhere. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of like classic Game Grumps bits that or, like, like everybody knows. Battle Kid, where I can still hear that. I hit end. I hit yeah. end. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching a, uh, the compilation of My Karuba the other day. Really? <laughs> yeah. Macri? Like, Were you watching it on their channel or a fan? Uh, a fan I, I, I watched a fan it's one because I had all the, They're all all the things. Yeah. I don't, they just get better better SEO. My, I don't know Karuba. why. We we put it all out ourselves too, but uh, the fan ones. And like Karuba. good for them, you know. If they can make a couple bucks off of stealing our content. I was watching your Skyward Sword a couple of months back as I was playing Skyward Sword. Yeah. So I would like, I got like a few hours ahead and then I would, on the second TV in that room, I would have your series on Aww. as I was playing. And then I get lost and you'd be like, fucking, I just want to keep playing. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. <laughs> but it was like, cause I, there was some parts where I'm like, oh man, you guys must have had a good bit for that one. And then I watched it and I was like, yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> Always delivering those Game Grumps. Yeah. Sean, what's what your happened? favorite Game Grumps series? <laughs> um... I don't know. Blood, Bloodborne is up there. I think Bloodborne's a really good Bloodborne's one. Bloodborne's fun. Guys, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that's Wind Waker I used to watch a lot. That was like the one that I really got into. But now going back, I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> Why is there so many episodes in this season? Yeah. Um, like 10 minute episodes. My God. That's when we were like, yo, we should do longer episodes. We should do 15 minute episodes. Dude, <laughs> ballsy. <laughs> I think my favorite... Um, Episode though is Endless Ocean. Oh, I was about to yeah. say, that was my favorite. My favorite series was wow, Endless Ocean. really it was so funny. Jeez. Oh my god, it's a fucking whale! <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, thanks. my son who is really alive. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah. Uh, thanks, guys. Uh, that's, that's really sweet. I don't remember a single fucking thing from it. I always I have to remind. I have to remind Aaron of what he did in his episodes because yeah. even at your house, I was like, "Can we watch the music one again?" <laughs> I was like, "I watched it three times at home already. Can we watch it again?" Oh, with that you? one actually makes. I've I've watched that one for sure. 
I just, I, it's just, it's like, I don't know. If you're like a plumber and you go to work for eight hours and you like plumb and then you come home. That's what they call like, it, by the way. <laughs> Honey, I have plum. Yeah. <laughs> Are you gonna watch like a like a three hour compilation of you plumbing? Like that? <laughs> yeah. I don't think so. Remember when you said this joke when you were plumbing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was really funny. But I I get that though because like I don't remember any jokes that I make do you make do you remember the jokes that you make when you are recording unless they're like the fucking speed is key ones yeah, which are yeah. just it's not even a joke it's just a catchphrase but I, I wouldn't remember any <laughs> of the like oddly specific ones because there's sometimes when I I mean it's that subjectivity right where you say something and you're like in the moment, I think that's a good bit. Yeah. But then afterwards, you're like, man, people really like this other fucking bit over here that I <laughs> that just came off the noggin. Yeah. No, it's always the fucking ones where it's just like you you're done and you're like, that sucked. What a bad yeah. episode. And then everyone's like, dude, that was the funny. And I'm like, what are you talking about? I legitimately think my favorite thing to do in life is to have somebody say something and then be like, I have a really good joke. Oh no, I have a really good joke. And then you say it and everyone laughs. That's like the that's like coming on cocaine to me. <laughs> that's like the greatest thing in the world. Yeah, that is a really good that's feeling. like the biggest dopamine it's rush like, I can This is genius. Get. I'm so clear. This is genius. Yeah, and I'm like, I'm so fucking proud of myself for being able to tap into that that quick. Yeah. <laughs> Finally, yeah, that's what you have to do. You have to put it up to what? the mic. There was there was two when I recorded with you guys that we did Monopoly, and I was like, "Oh man, look at the views over there!" And I was like, "Good for views!" <laughs> <laughs> and that made you giggle, and I was like, "Yes, it worked." <laughs> or when you were like, we were playing Mortuary Assistant, and you were like, "I don't know, what should I do? Come?" <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like. Good one, Aaron. I was like, mortuary system, more like my dick. <laughs> and you just lost it. And I was like, fuck yeah. I also had that during a power hour when we were doing uh, the one with me and Mark. Yeah. And I made a joke about cum. And you were like, you can't say cum. And I was like, why can't I say cum? And you're like, <laughs> and I, you said, you can say as if you're going somewhere. And I was like, I'm going to cum. Yes. <laughs> that was a fucking genius. Yeah, that was, that was like a moment where I was like, damn, Ethan's gotten really good at this. <laughs> that, was, that was, I think, one of the funniest. And then you fucking me. made me lose it when I was I was spanking you with the yaoi pedal. <laughs> <laughs> you were like, don't hit it too hard. It fucking made me lose my mind. It was so funny. Oh, uh, we have fun out here. Yeah, normally we do like a bad advice segment. Oh, really? That's where fun. We, where we like get messages from people online and then have to give them, we like improv terrible shit about it. Where it's like, how do I get someone to love me? And it's like, sneak into their house, steal their hair. Most of it is just gaslighting people. Yeah, it's gaslighting people and an excuse to improv terrible things. <laughs> because we got one recently where somebody was asking for advice and they were like, please answer my question without involving gaslighting the person. So we're like, oh. <laughs> and we didn't. We still put gaslighting in there. Well, yeah, let's do it then. Uh, just let loose. Don't even think. Okay. Whatever terrible idea comes to your mind. Okay. We're not trying to give good advice to people. Right, right, right. This is bad advice. Yeah, yeah. Now, this one comes from... Are these for you? Huh? Or are these just random? These are people we ask to send in, so they're people who watch... Oh, they're, okay. they're people who watch the show. Okay, yeah. okay. WKBBO. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Fuck your mom. Long-time okay. fan, first-time wow, wow. caller. Uh, hey, Brain Le Hey, hey, oh, hello, Brain and Leak. I don't know. Who's oh, who. God, is that oh, <laughs> which one of us which is Brain? One's oh, which? It's like Pinky and the Brain. <laughs> <laughs> what did Justin say last night at dinner when I couldn't hear <laughs> He was talking said. to Ethan, and then Ethan was like, and then he turned to me and he goes, You're the smart one, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> I genuinely had no idea what he said. I couldn't hear him. Yeah. Uh, hello, Brain and Leak. I have been trying to get out of Art Block for a good while, but I can't seem to brainstorm any good ideas. What do you happen to have any suggestions for what I should draw to finally get back into the swing of things? Ooh. You yeah. do art things, Aaron. Yeah, yeah. What's your best sh uh, thing? Um, what should they draw fucking each other? Yeah, well, I mean, the, the problem is that you're not creating enough condensation for the brainstorm to happen. Mm. So you, you need to make a distiller, mm. uh, a still. Yeah, so you, you put plastic over like a, a hole in the sand, mm -hmm. and then you put a bunch of water in the hole in the sand, and then you... Can it be pee? It can be pee. Okay. Be able to get distilled, so it can be pee. In fact, it's better if it's pee because you have just have like so much of that. 
So then the sun's rays will be turned, will be lensed by the plastic, and it'll heat the water, and the water will condensate up, and that will create enough condensation for the brain storm. How do you know how to do this? Are you a survivalist? Could it be Maybe. milk <laughs> instead of water? I don't know. <laughs> I'll never tell. Milk? It could be milk, yeah. Yeah? Can yeah, you yeah. condensate milk? It'll be really gross afterwards. Why? <laughs> just be a sack of fat and rotting protein. Don't you guys have bagged milk over there? That's Canada. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Don't you guys have bagged milk over there? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> bagged milk we in don't the have UK? It and I know that they have it other places, and oh, I thought... We have cartons. No, we, we keep it in faux nipples. <laughs> we so keep it in foam <laughs> cubes. God. <laughs> That'd be sick. Um... What should you draw? Mm. What's a good, terrible thing to draw? Draw, like, like you try to replicate like the best painting ever made. Oh, because it'll never be that good. You just have to make Starry Night bigger. That's how you get rid of. <laughs> that's how you get rid of. Open up Mid Journey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what should I draw? You have art block. Just ask the AI hey, to do it. Of course. This is true. What's the point even? Um, you should draw a picture of yourself drawing a picture like a draw a picture of the back of your own head oh yeah because then it's, you're kind of removing it yourself from the situation because it's like what would I be drawing if I could think of something to draw and then you're drawing yourself drawing that you thing draw yeah. the thing and then, and you, then the last thing you draw is the fucking drawing yeah and then you put huge knockers on your back. Uh, <laughs> Just big old titties. <laughs> on your back? Well, yeah. So you're like always... <laughs> well, if you're always drawing... <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> that's where the milk comes from. <laughs> Check out these bags of milk. <laughs> no, because if you're drawing the back of you all the time, you need, like, you still need people to look at it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the only way to sell art is just have huge titties just on mad it. Mad cleavage and just make it like Link. Just make it Link from Zelda, but like all titty. <laughs> so just draw Link with titties. <laughs> that is exactly <laughs> what you draw. Link with titties. <laughs> Unobo with titties. <laughs> draw all the Zelda Tears of the Kingdom characters with titties. Yeah. And now your art block is gone. Now you got <laughs> see it's already gone. You didn't even you didn't even realize it. Your art you block is gone, but your art, your art's bricked up now. <laughs> I'm so sorry that the sun is like blasting on Dude, you and like only so you. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, listen, I have a great idea. <laughs> on all the cameras, you're just gonna be completely overexposed <laughs> and white. <laughs> you want to move your chair? No, because then the framing will have to move, right? No, not particularly. Not particularly. We don't yeah. care about anything. Most of the people listening are probably not watching. And most of the people watching aren't listening. You don't. <laughs> so, why like, is all. Turn the sound off. <laughs> <laughs> why is all. I don't want my mom to hear. <laughs> why is all poo poo time pee pee time? <laughs> but all pee pee time ain't poo poo time. Well, I think we answered the question pretty Yeah, uh, that's well. good. Big that was old good yiddies yeah. on Link. Go with, go with. Just take your favorite childhood cartoon character and just give them big old yams. Big old knockers, mm -hmm. big and, honky dories. And on top of that, you will get so many commissions yeah, from weirdos on the internet. That's how you get famous on the internet. Yep. Just draw the big yiddies. What's your favorite word for boobs? Uh, or if you had to like make up one, titties. like titties is the slurping best. Yurpins. <laughs> Slurpy gurpins. <laughs> Slurpy gurpins. <laughs> titties. It's the best. Now, it's, it's funny, but it's also like, it's like if the context is different, then it's like the best word when it's like, like, nice, nice titties. Like, yeah, it's like whimsical, but it's also hot. Because tits is so like, ugh. Like it's, yeah, that's some like biker in a bar yeah. that has like sores on his nice knuckles. Nice tits. It's like, ugh. <laughs> Thank you, but also, ew. Pee you. Smell your breath. Yeah. <laughs> Gross. Okay, but what is the context for the situation? Because I have a different answer for different things. Okay, go ahead. Well, because if we're just at a wacky, funny time, I think bosom is pretty silly. Bosom? bosom? Yeah, it's a classic. Bosom's good. And it's like, can I touch your bosom? Yeah. Bosom makes me think of like like a like a like a like milkmaid. A babushka lady, you know? Yeah. It's I like, it's I will hold you to my bosom. <laughs> like, you know. Like fucking Olga from Oktoberfest. Yeah. yeah. I think honkers is also pretty funny. <laughs> honkers, honkers is a good one. Honkers. Funny. <laughs> oh, badonkers. Yeah. <laughs> honkers. But if it's sexy time, then I like knockers. Knockers That's is funny. There's just something cool about knockers. When I, when I hear knockers, though, I think of like big wooden balls, like clack, 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 you know? Hey, the mind goes where it wants. Yeah. 
I don't know what's the what's the we should make up a word for the term. Uh, hmm. Like blitzens, blitzens, blitzens. <laughs> like something. Uh, <laughs> blundies, <laughs> blundies is good. It's like, like the, that makes it sound like something wrong happened. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like, like all oh, a blundie. It's the Kiki Boba thing again. Yeah. It's like Boba just sounds like boob. I thought it was booba. Is it boba? What? Boob- oh, you told Boba's me. It's I learned drink. it as booba. It's booba. Yeah, Kiki yeah. and booba. Yeah. Okay. Boba's the beverage with the balls in it. Well, I was like, it can't be booba because it's so obviously so close to boobs. Yeah, but it's round. It's got to be booba. Booba. It's got. I. Be booba. Hmm. Guys, come on. <laughs> I mean, it's it's like it's like a blue sound, you know. It's we like blue bitten or something. You don't have to meet like me even halfway. Like, there's three of us. Yeah, get like thirty three percent of that's, the way. That's there. what the fu- it's the word is. It's it's blue. It's it's so much that blue sound. Like, it's got to be that. Oh yeah, but we need to come up with like like a All new the titties knockers. is very like like up on tiptoes. Like it's like <laughs> yeah. yeah. I do like the yeah. the double T makes yeah. a nice noise. Titty. <laughs> Fine, I guess we won't come up Buddy. with a cool new name for boobs. But like bosom, that's like boobs. It's got the boo sound, you know? Yeah. Boobies. Bosom. bosom. Yeah. It has a nice mouth. Ma- I think bosom has a nice mouth feel. Kind what of about, like yeah. What about bubbles. blinkers? No, you can't put a K in. K is too... <laughs> like, it's got... <laughs> <laughs> what about knockers? It's, it's all boo. Like it's all knockers that. Knockers is fun. No, no, well, knockers. Yeah, because is, the, nobody because seriously the, calls them knockers. Because though. the K is at the very beginning. If no, you put the K in the in middle, the middle. Cool. there's a K right in the middle, dude. <laughs> <laughs> if you spell correctly, I guess. But dude, sweet pair of knockers. <laughs> <laughs> Nossers. <laughs> the K anyway. is silent. All right, next question. Any. <laughs> Any birthday party ideas? <laughs> I haven't had a big celebration for a few years because of COVID. Just get a bunch of people together and then like it'd be like, I'm glad you I I brought you all here. I'm glad you all came. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad I brought you all here. <laughs> First of all, it's my birthday. Congratulations, me. Anyway. Woo. We're coming up with a new name for boobs. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody brainstorm your best ideas. Go. You don't yeah, you get fed give, until you come up you with the best one. You give them a pen and a piece of paper on the way in. <laughs> yeah. I That's would like, like t- think of it at dinner. Mm-hmm. We all go around. We don't eat until we get it. Yeah. I would love to have one of those parties where everybody brings a PowerPoint presentation on yeah. something. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. kind of a fun mm-hmm. thing. About like something you're passionate about. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or should we do one that we're all specifically have to do? Like mm. We all have to do research. Oh, we get like a signed one? Yeah. Hmm. Like South Dakota or something? No, it can't be actually shit. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? That's where Mount Rushmore is. Built on stolen land. Why'd they do that? <laughs> what, steal the land and build Mount Rushmore? Because they love yeah. giant heads. <laughs> they have a fucking fetish. Yeah, because they're assholes. So. So I've never seen it. Dominance. Do you think if you get really close to Mount Rushmore, they have like tiny bodies under the heads? <laughs> well, they were supposed to have like a whole bust. Oh. But they ran out of money. They ran out of rocks. It's like <laughs> literally a fucking Looney Tunes bit. Like, it's oh. just like, oops. <laughs> you ever, like, as a kid, you have to, like, draw on a, like, a whiteboard or something. It's like, and fuck it. Right make it a space. space. <laughs> <laughs> and then they're they were, like, they draw the head massive. They're like, oh, fuck. That's why one of them is kind of, like, over here and just kind of, like, Bleh, like, he's not, like, <laughs> quite finished. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> President half face. <laughs> we should go to Mount Mushmore. Well, he said Mount Rushmore as well. <laughs> the fuck is with that word? <laughs> it's tough want to say we should go there for a video yeah. check yeah. out the big heads check oh, out the we should make our own mount rushmore yeah mount leak talk and about... we add a guest to it every time <sighs> talk about all the all the sioux people all the what the sioux people i don't know the people that the land was stolen from oh i don't know the sioux S-I-O-U-X. natives i o u x yep oh how do you know more about the history? I did a I did a report did. on South Dakota when I was a kid. That's oh, why, I was that's why when you were like, Sean. we could do a report. I was like, like South Dakota. I yeah. did that. <laughs> I know the, the Sioux tribe, the native people. Yeah. I don't remember anything that I did um projects on when I was a child. You didn't even do that's a little volcano with the You wow. didn't want to learn. I did a one on the volcano. I did a really cool video about the great white shark and um I had Guns N' Roses in it. I oh, yeah. Which <laughs> song? <laughs> how, how much were they? <laughs> <laughs> Sweet shark of mine. They just show up they're like, "Hey, is that what you did? <laughs> well, it's funny thinking about it now. Because it's the Great White Shark, and I had the song. The jungle, <laughs> <laughs> and welcome to the jungle, which is really funny. Welcome to the undersea jungle. Yeah, I love that. Dude, sharks are the king of the jungle. Welcome to the 
ocean. <laughs> we got one again. <laughs> Uh, spent too oh, oh hell yeah! <laughs> so birthday parties, huh? Yeah. No, anything that well, I'm supposed to gaslight people, right? <laughs> <laughs> You're not supposed to. We're just not good at coming up with ideas that don't have it. Oh, okay. You, any any activity. That's the thing is like people are so shy about doing something weird, but it's like just do something weird. Just fucking. Oh, be- you like a fucking nude body painting class? Okay, not that weird. Oh, that would be crazy, actually. If you're like, everybody, you guys want to come over and paint? And then you're like, I'm so glad that everybody came. Uh, you're going to. This I, is Roger. I have, I have He's from name. school. <laughs> or this is Penelope. You. We're going to be naming what is on her chest today <laughs> <laughs> and then drawing them. <laughs> that would be such a crazy move, though, being that confident and just being like, you guys are going to paint me. <laughs> that, that is like Go, I'm the birthday boy <laughs> <laughs> This is my birthday wish You this can't say no, it's my birthday time. You're like, happy birthday to me Sing it, let me sing see. it let me, see. let me see, let me see, let me see Happy birthday <laughs> <laughs> You like change pose, like, fuck, stop changing poses Here comes the cake <laughs> And then you just turn around <laughs> There's the birthday cake Ooh, the cakes, you got two <laughs> Hell so yeah. anyway. That is a good thing to do. Yeah. Yeah. That's a that great people one. show up and like paint me nude. Nude painting. But like as they come in, you lock the door. <laughs> now paint. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, oh God. get oh. your easel. You gotta paint your way out. That would be so fun though. <laughs> you give everybody a different thing to make the art with. So one person is using oh, like charcoal. watercolors, one person is using like crayon. The other person has to make a sculpture of you. Then yeah. somebody else has to use like invisible ink for their pee. You have yeah. to like choose it from like it's like a mad dash, like yeah. like the Hunger, Hunger Games. Games. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> choose your supplies, go, <laughs> dude. You get like one crayon and like a piece of clay. You're like shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's like when we made sandwiches for Thankmas. And I was like, oh, yeah. oh fuck. <laughs> I was too busy like talking that I forgot I was supposed to make something. <laughs> oh, that would be so good. Hunger oh actual hunger games. <gasps> Oh, just have a Hunger Games party where you just have the fucking cornucopia with the weapons. Yeah, but it's like the weapons. <laughs> <laughs> just have the Hunger Games party. The cornucopia. The weapons are all food. Yeah. So it's like hot dog. <laughs> Dorito. You got so like shoving it down someone's throat. <laughs> it's like one slice of pizza. It's like, fuck, I want the pizza. <laughs> it's like, what's the ultimate food item to kill someone with? Invite three vegans and there's only one vegan meal. <laughs> Yeah, but then someone with a peanut allergy comes in and it's like... Oh, oh ruins everything. It's like the deadliest weapon of all. <laughs> this is... This is... This is so sad. This is so unfair. Dude, you're the Rue, dude. What? From Hunger Games. Oh, the girl that died? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Some, somebody else at the party who takes all the food items, covers himself in and blends into the ground. <laughs> <laughs> like Peta with his fucking cake. <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> we talked and about that on Dinkage the last comes episode. In and says, "Do you hear that? That's the sound of snow falling." <laughs> it's in the new trailer. Oh, it's like, it? what does that mean? I have no idea. They're making a, a Hunger Games prequel that no one asked for. I only seen the first two, and I read half of the second book. <laughs> you keep I read the first book. I, I read the I read the first <laughs> book, <laughs> and I read half of the second book. What's the other one? Catching there's the Hunger Games, Catch Catching Fire. And to catch, to catch a, a predator. To catch, <laughs> to catch a predator. <laughs> <laughs> they all get Chris risen Hansen. up and Chris Hansen just steps out of the cornucopia. <laughs> Chris Hansen. Why take a seat? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Good times. <laughs> but yeah. You could bring uh, Hunger Games birthday. Oh. But they all think it's going to be like themed cosplay. So they all come like dressed and then it's like perfect. Yeah. If and you then you make a snuff film out of it. Mm-hmm. That is such a good idea. You bring a bunch of friends to your house, and then you just sit back and watch as craziness en- ensues when Chris Hansen steps out of the bathroom, <laughs> and he's like, bet you're wondering why you're all here. Which one is it? And they, they have to figure it out. Oh, yeah. man, that's a good one. Oh, it's it like out. it's oh. like Knives Out or something, like a whodunit. Yeah. But it's... <laughs> Chris, I was thinking like... Not rent. as fun. <laughs> if, if they don't know where you live... Okay, this is a specific situation. If they don't know where you live, then just rent some random house with no furniture in it mm. and then invite them and, and just put a sign on the door that says, like, don't knock, just come on in. And then they'll come in and they'll be like, what? And then they'll just look around and there'll be nothing there. And they'll just be lost for, like, just see how long it takes them to be like, what the fuck? Where do I go? <laughs> what is happening? I don't understand. Oh, for a random party. Yeah. 
I thought you were talking about this is what they should do to catch a predator. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them they come to this address. And they come and there's no furniture. And they're like, what is going on? It's like <laughs> fucking Nathan Fielder's How to Catch a Predator. You should do... Oh, I had it in my head a second ago. Now I can't think of it. Fuck. Oh, you should do a birthday party like Survivor. Mm. Where everyone has to come in and do challenges. And then you vote out your friends out of the house. That's great. So it's like, sorry, Trisha. You didn't bring a birthday gift. And then they don't, and then they leave and they have to go. Yeah. But it's like really telling, like, who likes who. You should. Because everyone's just like immediately, like, Greg, I don't need to, we don't do the first task, just Greg. Yeah. Get him out. You should do a birthday party where you have a bunch of people who are giving birth all day. <laughs> <laughs> like, the birthday that's a Lamaze class. <laughs> you have to deliver all these babies. But if you just like hired a bunch of people to show up in like satanic ritual robes. Mm-hmm. And they're oh, just yeah. like in a circle, like covered in blood. And then, like, the first person walks in and they're like, Come. And it's like a robe <laughs> with, like, with their name on it and shit. It's just like Clarence on it. And it's like, it's There's like, your robe. Sit. Come. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here I go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, well, so that's what to do with your birthday. Thanks for the question. Good ideas, everybody. Good ideas all around. Yeah, I'm really proud Clap. of what we've accomplished. Great work, everybody. <laughs> anyway, thanks for being on the episode, Aaron. First oh, yeah. guest ever. First yeah. guest ever. Oh, and you didn't even tell a story about how you shit yourself. Did have I? you? <gasps> Wait, Aaron. What? Have you shit yourself? I've sharded, so I guess that counts, right? <laughs> You've never like like a full load, made no. full dumpy. No, 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 no. Oh, you don't. You were not friends at all. No. I thought you were cool. <laughs> I know, man. I wish I had a full dump story, but just sharding. That's close enough. It's always moments of excitement where I'm just like, like I, st- you know, I'm like, yes, and I'm like, oh, <laughs> you go, yes, no, <laughs> pretty much. Paint the town red. <laughs> Paint the bowl round. Yeah, our first episode of the podcast, I talked about shitting myself. Oh, really? And ever since, it's come up in every episode. Yeah, pretty. No much way. Episode. Okay. There's always something about yeah. shitting. Well, the last time I started, it was, I was, I was like in a group of people. And I did that thing where I was, I was like, I was like, oh yeah, and then like it happened, and I just was like, <laughs> <laughs> like straight to the bathroom, just walked off, <laughs> and everyone was like, where'd you go? I was like, I just had to go to the bathroom. It's no big deal. I was just excited. <laughs> <laughs> I started at his house. Really? Yep. Yeah. What happened? Jet lag. <laughs> yeah, I just. It's not what I don't happens know. with jet lag? I don't know. I was you there just, for you New Year's. Sleep a lot. I was there for New Year's this year, and then I woke up in the middle of the night, and I was like, I, my stomach hurts. And then I rolled out of bed, and I was like, I pooped. It's <laughs> <laughs> like George Brett, straight fucking water. Oh, hey, little guy. What? Zoom in on our different. new friend. Aaron has a puppet on his hand. <laughs> hey, how's it going? It's going all right. How are you doing? <laughs> 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 What's your name? <laughs> what was his name? <laughs> Gerald. Gerald? Not Jerry. Only Gerald. Gerald, what do you do? <laughs> I'm a dinosaur. <laughs> well, but like for work, I mean. Dinosaurs don't work. We just eat and poop. <laughs> How did you survive? <laughs> The fuck did you just say to me? <laughs> Criminal offensive side eye. No, say that again. <laughs> How did, did you survive the extinction event? What? The extinction event? Yeah. Oh, is that all I am to you? <laughs> A fucking extinction event, huh? This fucking guy. <laughs> I'm so sorry for my co-host. He's very rude. Unbelievable. Any more questions? <laughs> Um. Uh, no. No. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. That concludes another beautiful episode. Oh, look, the sun's out in me as the episode's ending. That's oh, another yeah. episode of the Brain League podcast in the fucking canister. Hey, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you were holding it like that the whole time. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Don't forget, if you want to send us any questions for bad advice, go to questions at brainleakpod.com. Don't go to it. Send an email to it. If you go to it, it's not going to fucking do anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just send an email to it. I don't know why I said it that way. It's like it's a device and you're like tapping on it. <laughs> why isn't it taking my question? <laughs> I told you it's not going to do anything. <laughs> Send us an email. Give us some advice. Give us some real squeakers. Aaron, thank you so much for coming on. And Thanks for the, having me. This was awesome. The first guest. It's it was so, so nice fun. to just sit outside. Yeah. Know, amongst friends. Enjoy the green. Have Spencer out in front of us. Yeah. yeah hi, bud. Hey, buddy. Uh, hey. There's a, a catchphrase we have around here when we end our episodes. Oh. Which is stay leaky. Stay leaky. Stay leaky. Is that you just trying to get the shirt going? I don't know what I'm doing in my life. <laughs> get the stay leaky shirt yet? No. Someday. Yeah. Maybe someday. someday. Yeah. I'm always going to stay leaky. I'll have another sharding story for you. Oh, Good. fuck yeah. 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 Stay leaky, Spencer. <laughs> <laughs> <was> like, what? 